Yes, queen. Yes, queen. And welcome to Punch Drunk Sports, where winners win. We win. We win. We got packed studio. We've already won. We've already won, dude. We've actually, the best sports talk was already done and not recorded. And yeah, it's yeah. really sucked. You guys aren't going to get that fucking gold. It's just going to be crickets chirping. Joining us in studio is uh, number one. He is the producer Thank of you. the hit show, Kill go. Tony, our good friend, David Deary. What's up? up? Hi, David. The hit show. The hit show. Some say showrunner, some say producer. What are you I'm doing not sure. right now? Are you live streaming this? No. What? I'm trying to promote the shows going okay. on. Okay, all right. Get all some right. phone calls. All right. all right. By the um, way, Kill Tony yesterday was hilarious. They had Ron White and the whole band, like Jeremiah, they dressed up as the blue collar comedy game. That was amazing. It was yeah, hilarious. It was Jeremiah Watkins is a beast. Jeremiah Watkins is going, you will, you will know his beast. name by the Trail of the Dead. He, he's a killer. And, you um, know, a big part of that, a lot of people in the crowd were saying, like, you know, they, like a huge part of that show, why it's so funny is because I'm a part of it. So yeah. they've been saying that. It's like Happy it only here. got funny till about a month ago. That's happy to be here. Saying. That's what I, I didn't hear anything about that. Yeah, that's well, happy to be here, guys. It. I wonder who's saying that. Hey, Jason, happy to be here. Uh, David Deary, where are you going to be? You got any dates coming out? Uh, I'll be at home uh, editing some photos. I shoot a lot of film. I actually uh, I brought a copy of the Door Guys zine that I made. I don't know where it was. Oh, where I to... love that. Dude, uh, I great. shot all the Door Guys. Uh, with, oh, that's a pretty funny idea. With, with film, with my film camera. I got uh, a funny Feng Chow story. I, I can't. I'm not allowed to sell this, but I'll give you a copy Why for free. Why can't you sell it? Well, because it's got the Comedy Store legally, logo legally, logo on there. Legally. Yeah. S sell them out of your trunk. I mean, sell I could. I could, but I don't. I just give them to people for free. It's just like, you know, it's just like a little fun project I did. Okay. We're so I just want to show it to people. We're gonna in, get in this other fun project in your you fan base up very soon. But real quick, uh, Chad, where are you gonna be? Thank you, Sam Tripoli. Uh, funny you should ask. This Thursday, I'm gonna be at the Sycamore Tab and. Uh, the comedy tavern. Do tab tab is that dojo. a penalty? Is that a penalty? Oh, no, no, but he can't do no, no, no. The dojo, Damn, the I'm dojo of comedy inside the Woo. Sycamore Tavern. With uh, that was close. Sam <laughs> Tripoli, uh, Sam Tripoli, Jason T T Tabo, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan he's, Sickler. He's begging for a penalty. Joe DeRosa. <laughs> this guy wants to live in the box. I'd be a horrible referee. He wants to live in the box. <laughs> and uh, this uh, Saturday night at the rec room in Huntington Beach, pick up my album, A White Guy Named Chad. Thank you for listening. <laughs> nice. Jason Tybo, where are you going to be? Um, I'm going to be at the Sycamore uh, Talon uh, <laughs> with Chad Zimmerman. And uh, on Thursday, so come to that show. That'll be good. Also, on the 13th, we're doing another UFC at the oh, Dojo. Nice. Yeah. I'll be there. Uh, that's going to be a, it's a great card. Uh, Stand-up show pamphlet? afterwards. And uh, so come watch the fights with all of us. Brought to you by BetDSI. BetDSI. Use the code PUNCH25 and you get 25 free bucks to gamble with. And put it, get involved in this tournament. Get involved in the tournament. And uh, uh, you can look at our Twitter and uh, get your brackets in there. Real fun. Real Brackets. Fun Actually, you know what? I do have a date. Can I say it? Oh, dude. One date. I only have it's one date. Late, April actually. 9th. April 9th. I'm We're dropping on in Sam. on a vert ramp. I did your fucking April 9th. Dates. That's it. Okay. April 9th. I'm dropping in on a vert ramp, and I'm raising money for charity. Well, we're going to get into that. Okay, okay cool. But now That's my only date. Fucked everything. Don't give me a penalty. Uh, you just, I might give Chad a penalty. Yeah, he should get a penalty. Fucked everything. Sycamore Tavern. Guys, I am with Chad Zumach. Oh, my God. What happened? himself in a penalty again. Dude, hold on. I'm gonna give him a two two minute minor. Yeah, two that's minute a minor. minor. Two minute minor. Flubbing, flubbing. Yeah, flubbing. You flubbing. be done with your dates in two minutes. Okay. Give him the whole fiver. Flubbing. Give him the whole five. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm with Chad Zumach and Jason Tebow this Wednesday. Thursday, right? Thursday yeah. at the dojo. Go grab those tickets at Eventbrite.com, and then. That whole lineup's great. That whole lineup's yeah, great. Yeah, let's go down the lineup. It goes Gareth Reynolds. Love it. Chad Zupak. Jimmy Florentine, Sam Tripoli, Joe DeRosa, Jason Tebow, Tracy McDonald, Ryan Sickler, and K Trevor Kevlo. Then I am, um, and then Friday night, I am at the Santa Barbara Comedy Shakedown with my good friend, Lee Syed, Mike Tully, Jake Allo, and many, many more. We are at the Bass Brass Bear 
Brewing Uh-oh. Bistro. Ooh, close to flubbing. Good that was gosh. Very close oh, to flubbing. Hey, dude, I go hard in the paint, dog. They Shit. should rename their place Tongue Twisters. Yeah. <laughs> then Saturday night, it's the Shady Fox live at the rec room. Uh, Jim Florentine, Joe Bartnick, Chad Zumach, Zuman Zumach, myself. 10 o'clock show at the rec room in Huntington Beach. Then the following week, I am at, it's the Waking Arizona Tour, the Tim Foil Hat Comedy Night. Myself, Eddie Brown, XG, Phoenix, we are there uh, March 28th. That is a Thursday, 7.30 p.m. at the House of Comedy. And then Tucson, uh, the following night, that is uh, Friday night. We are at the 191 Tool, March 29th. Doors at 7 p.m., show 8 p.m. And then the final number, because I know it drives everybody crazy. I am going to be at Rooster Tea Feathers, April 4th through the 7th, okay? That Thursday night is Smoke Em Out. I'm inviting my friends, all my weed friends, all my weed brand friends from NorCal are going to come on Thursday night. Everyone's going to smoke weed. The two, Friday and Saturday is stand-up comedy. And then Sunday night is Q&A with Sam Tripoli. I answer all your fucking questions, all right? So go to samtripoli.com for all those dates. God damn. Oh, yeah. Also, all the questions? All the questions? All the questions. Jeez. It's a f- four-day show. My God. It's a four-day show. All the questions. Four-day show. It's a lot of questions. Hey, Tebow, you got something? I'll be at a Brazilian wax museum uh, next moon day. <laughs> um, also, yeah, hit us up on our Twitter with questions. We're doing our, our next Patreon. Oh, we don't have to do it? Uh, what's that? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. People pay the big bucks. You got to pay to ask questions. Yeah, pay to ask questions. Or go to Sam's show. Or go to Sam's Uh, show. Then you get all the answers. All the answers to all the questions. How are we doing on the time for a Z-Man? God oh, damn, dude. He's been in the box. I think that was a two-minute minor. You guys are harsh. I don't know, bro. Hey, dude. You People guys are get harsh. mad when you don't do the whole fiver, bro. I was getting blown up. I'm like... We're not doing it for us. We're doing it for him. But We're not doing it for the fans. But hold on. Let's let's just start. With this, the, is I'm a, new. this is new to me, so he I need it to, to know himself. what's going on with the penalty This is button. our scared straight, dude. Okay? Yeah, I don't want that. We're like ex-cons trying to teach this young youth that he's going to end up like us if he doesn't fucking get his are what are? It's like making him smoke an entire carton of cigarettes. What are some penalties to avoid? Uh, I mean, flubbing is bad, obviously. Eye no contact flubbing. with us. Yeah. Talking when we talk. <laughs> referencing <coughs> being friends with us. Oh, dear. Talking about chicks. Name dropping. Name dropping. Name dropping? Yeah. Telling is it a penalty? Telling everybody how long you've been doing comedy. Referencing that you have an album available. Ooh, he did uh, that. <laughs> Chad did that already. He did do that. <laughs> yeah, no, so far Chad all you have to welcome. Chad is welcome. I'm gonna rain this in because I just don't want this to be constant raining down a fucking penalty box. Right, but right, Chad right. once in a while likes to go a little crazy. And Chad but what, does what wait, the kids call let's not... muck it up. Muck it up. Yeah, he's a mucker. Yeah, Chad he's a mother mucker. Muck this mother he's that's a mother the mucker. Episode. Mother mucker. But so but, wait, when did you guys get the penalty? Let's not when forget the penalty he put button? himself in the box he this did. time. We he didn't did. even do it. Yeah, you didn't do it. I wanted to. He knew he had to go That's in the there. That's equivalent of cutting yourself and looking for attention. <laughs> you, I wanted I to because he did flub, you know, but I, I, I'm so new to the penalty button. I didn't want to, like, just come right out onto the ice I love and just how every like, week penalty, when, you know? Every I mean, week when it's Sam does his dates, he throws himself in the penalty box right during your whole dates. And, guys, we're at 30 seconds before this. I know. Look at that. That was a quick. I just made a new rule i talk to all the elders new rule chad's time doesn't start till my dates are done wow so i gotta do my dates then his time starts okay wow. you can't just check wow. out that's half the show day. that's half the show guys <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we count it down like, uh, for sure hey, 10 give me- no. 9 8 7 6 he's already out of the box what's he doing Whoa. hey chad sit in the box chad you have two seconds. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it only runs when you're actually in the box. <laughs> the box. There we go. And welcome back. All right. Chad. Hey, there you go. He's yeah. Back. Oh, oh, Tom Segura. Oh, 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 <laughs> two minute minor. Two minute minor. Two oh minute my minor. god. Two Impersonating minute. Bert. That's a penalty, right? <laughs> two minute minor. Two minute minor for sure. 
So why everybody's doing whatever they're doing? Tell us about your vert ramp. So uh, basically, what I'm doing is uh, on April 9th, I'm gonna drop in on a vert ramp for the first time. And, uh, what? Tell for, 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 okay, those, for uh, people uh, who haven't skateboarded. Um, you can go on my YouTube, and there's a couple videos that explain it. Uh, what is vert? What is dropping in? But it's basically like the big ramps, the X game ramps, um, and it's just like you go to the top, and you, that's how you start. You just you you, you just roll, you, you, you roll in, in, you drop in, yeah. And um, for people who skate vert or who's you know skateboard that kind of shit, it's like you know that's basic. But for someone who has never done it, it's definitely like a challenge. Could and you die? I could break my arms off for sure. Okay, yeah. for sure. So Watch, there is there's the a, element of F. Yes, there's an element of pain, for sure. Um, if you if you check out Johnny Knoxville, drops in on Vert, he did it on, like, Jackass and broke his arms. Um, Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm definitely nervous, but, you know, I'm, I'm also I'm training a little bit. Johnny Knoxville doesn't really skateboard. I skateboard. It's um it's probably equivalent to someone who's like a like an average runner running a marathon. It's something like that. I could make it. If they had mountain lions? I could make it. Yeah. I could make I it. I believe in you. I okay. could also break my arms off. But here's the twist. I'm gonna um yeah, here's Johnny Knoxville. Check it out. Uh so there's a vert ramp. Look how Does big that make it is. Look how big it is. Watch. Whoop! Oh, uh, yeah, that makes. Oh. I mean, that doesn't make me scared because he stepped off the board. He didn't really like. If Do you, you know, think sometimes they threw it look, and he just, fucked up anyway? I think he he's just not a skateboarder, so he didn't just stand on the board. See how he just. I thought the guy was playing. Go no, no, he might be dead. No, he definitely broke. I have his a arm. huge announcement to make. Is Chad done with his thing? I have a look, huge look. announcement. Look, look. Oh damn! Right I would this. die doing that shit. Oh, wait, can I say one more thing about it? Because okay. I'm raising money okay, for, where can we go to raise money? For, for charity. On my Instagram, uh, at MF David Deary, it, there's a link to a GoFundMe. What's the GoFundMe? Let's go to GoFundMe <laughs> and look it up real quick. I'm raising, uh, I don't know, go on my Instagram. The link's on there. I don't know the okay. exact. Guys, welcome back to the show. Chad, the Z-Man, Zuma. Two welcome penalties back. already in this I'm just game. Gonna be you're, quiet. A, you're a straight enforcer. I'm just going to be quiet. I think you're doing great so far. I think you're doing great so far. <laughs> so there you go. Go on that. Go on that. And don't forget, you put yourself in the box. So he really only has okay, one. True. That's not self. In... Go up. Go up. Go I can't up. Hear, can what you is hear that? So you need how much? You. So I'm trying to raise a thousand bucks. That's I, it. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Go but if you're you're punch drunk, fucking your, royal. Your phone's somewhere. You're yeah. fucking. I'm like punch drunk to the bone. Go help out David Deere. He's always on the show. He's always doing our shows. He's he's part of the family. So go and help him out. Throw ten dollars, oh yeah, twenty dollars, five dollars, two dollars, whatever. Throw two dollars. Two dollars is let's great. Let's get him to his thousand dollars that he needs to make this happen. And here's what I'm gonna do: when I get to a thousand dollars, I'm gonna challenge companies. I've already oh, got okay. the, the verbal Smart. okay from companies. It's a professional uh, move. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them to match the donation if I make it first try. So if I land the the drop in. They're gonna, you know, hopefully gonna like match my donation. Uh, it goes to a company called Skatistan. They build uh, skate parks for in third world countries. I love that, so dude. That's pretty cool. Okay, give it up for David Deary. Thanks for coming on the show, dude. We'll see you. Yeah, thanks, thanks man. April, Congratulations. April 9th. April 9th. I hashtag a, vert challenge. Hashtag vert challenge. Join I, me if you're a skater. I have a major announcement. Oh yeah, that's right. I am very sorry. Oh, I thought you were going to say you have cancer. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right after my thing, you're going to say you have cancer. You can't do that. That would definitely be <laughs> a penalty. Go to my gun. What a, yeah, what is me. <laughs> right? Stealing Fuck. your thunder. <laughs> um, I have a major announcement. I am doing Ellis Mania, but I am oh. not fighting Ari. I am pro wrestling. I'm going to do pro wrestling May, the first weekend of May at Ellis Mania. It's been announced. I don't know if there's a website or anything like that, but I am doing it. It's myself. Mike Catherwood versus fucking Jason Ellis and, and fucking Kevin Kraft, okay? So it's, that's how we're doing it. Wait, I am bro? Armageddon, okay? That's my name. I'm coming up in a fucking Adidas tracksuit, some fucking Jakar cologne, a wife beater, gold. Yeah, you should definitely be like spraying like Jakar in people's face, yeah, like that's on my like goal. secret that's my thing. New, that's yeah, my yeah. New move. Can I be your one. evil manager? Because no. they always have managers. Yeah, they're gonna have. I think they're gonna get some fucking people to do it. Or maybe they're gonna have a bunch of trannies doing it. I'll, I don't know. I'll but, be your Mr. Fuji. I like that. Your Bobby Heenan. I like that a lot. I like that. Didn't a lot. he just die? Bobby yeah. Heenan. Bobby I killed Heenan. him. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, did he just did. die, right? Yeah. A lot of those wrestlers, man, they they drop like flies. Dude, they fucking do it up though. That's bad. Like, and they. Drink that's and a do rough drugs. life. That's a rough life. That's, way, that's a real rough life, though. Says professional three wrestlers. comedians with I've, fucking drug and alcohol problems. But still, I, even <laughs> that's what I'm. That's to, even to the more to the point. We outlived them, though. But you we're not. No, how old are you? 
43. 43. So they're, they all die in their 50s and 60s. So we'll see. Well, I put a, I put a thing up on my buddy's uh, uh, Instagram. A it's, thing? It was a, it was a tag team match. It was Mr. Perfect, Ravishing Rick Rude versus the Ultimate Warrior, Kerry Von Eric, and Bobby Heaton. They're all dead. All f- five of them are dead. Piper, yeah. Piper. Yeah. yeah, it's a, a it's a definitely Roddy a, Piper. It's a rough business. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Hulk Hogan's going to die soon. Oh, shut up. Don't dude. say that, dude. Don't say that, dude. <laughs> it's a sad. <laughs> He's no. my grandmother's neighbor. Hulk really? Hogan. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm guessing your grandmother's not black then. No, she's uh, and also not alive. She's not alive. Oh. But that she, it, it, he was her neighbor. Was. Did you say is mm-hmm. or was? Was oh, was okay. her neighbor was for a long time. She's yeah. gone. She's buried now, right? Oh yeah, she's dead as fuck. But I mean, oh. she doesn't still live in the house, right? No, I mean, she is might she be haunting dead it. Dead as fuck, or is she a dead fuck? She, uh, I mean, I guess I mean, if you got a shovel, is she a dead fuck or is she a dead guys? Fuck? Guys, you got a bone. You got a boner and a shovel. Well, Dude, rest in peace, man. I'm sorry. China's that. dead too. I forgot about that. Oh my god. Oh, oh did China? That, bring that up. It's did probably you, those tariffs. Did that what? guy die too? Macho man. What do you mean those tariffs? China. Macho Man dead as well. He's, he's dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. He got like in a car they can't, wreck. They can't hang with us in a trade war. Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior, yeah. Said, Jimmy yeah. Snuka. Oh, Superfly. King Kong Bundy just died. Yeah. Andre yeah. the King Giant. Kong Andre the Giant. That I mean, one how did hit he hard. How did that he one hit hard. Yeah. Who? King Kong Bundy? Yeah. That one he hit He just hard. died, right? Yeah. 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 They I say mean, he had to have 16 paw bears. <laughs> <laughs> That's just rude. Balls, Ravishing Rick Rude, is he still alive? Yeah, I already said he's dead. Ravishing Rick Rude is dead. He died too. Damn, dude. Yeah, he's dead. they're all dead. Is anybody alive? Is anybody fucking alive? Hulk Hogan's only alive because they gave him such an easy road. You know what I mean? Yes. All he had to do was yeah. he dropped like no one. One time he got body slammed. John yeah, Cena. He was, he was greenlit from day one. Wasn't yeah, he? he was. He was pretty much yeah, like he was a pampered. star. Yeah, he was Ooh, a superstar. Yeah. Chris Benoit, he killed his whole family. <laughs> Fucking true. Dickhead. Oh, he did, right? Yeah. Yeah, Miss, yeah, he did. He Miss killed, Elizabeth died? Oh, he yeah. killed his whole family and then killed himself, right? Yeah, he That's went crazy. Nuts, Eddie Guerrero? Man. I didn't know he was dead. I didn't know Miss Elizabeth died. Yeah, she died. Mr. I mean, they Perfect. must get the CTE too, right? Oh, for sure. They're fucking. Dog. They're fucking getting concussed all over. Oh, sure, yeah, dude. Dog. The British Bulldog, Davy. The big Boss Man died? 2004. Man. Age 41, he I, died. Oh, dude, damn. So you outlived him, dude. Owen oh, Hart. Brett, the man this Hart. is no, a no, it's Owen crazy Hart. list. He fell from a roof. Dude, why do I feel like scary some Sherry. people jerk off to this list? Any related? Oh, wow. Anyone related to the Macho Man's dead. Everybody related to Test. Him? Earthquake died? I mean, of course, Earthquake died. That guy was, had one foot in the grave from day one. Big John Studs died. Oh, Big that. John Studs. Oh, there's Rick Rude. That guy. You know, some of these guys Damn, died from dude. Trauma. Oh, British, Bulldog. British Bulldog. He was only 40 years old. That you know that Who's guy that? Is gonna die. Who's that dude? That guy's just uh, some random. Bam fuck. Bam Bigelow died. That guy's fat fuck Johnny. The junkyard Damn. dog's dead. All right, we're that. all dead. I didn't know no. that either. Road Warrior Hawk's dead. I didn't know that. I didn't know either. junkyard fuck. dog died. Flying Brian Pillman played for the University of No, he didn't play for Kerry you know, Von Eric. You know why we never heard that the junkyard dog was dead? Because he's black. It's a conspiracy. And that's for the same th- same reason Kaepernick's not playing. Yeah. By the way, lo- Dino people, Bravo. People are sniffing around Kaepernick now. Crush. Hercules Who? Hernandez. Who's sniffing dead. around Kaepernick? I think uh, the Patriots. Miami sign. was. I I think I actually can see him getting signed. Why wouldn't who I have, I, don't, I don't get the it. The lawsuit's I mean, over. The, other that's than, all cleared out. Other than the owners are a bunch of rich white. I wonder guys if we'll ever know what, what he got for that. Oh, a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah, they haven't disclosed shit, it. Yeah, why would they? Reasons, that would be embarrassing but. for the NFL if it gets out how much money he he made. I'm sure it's a shit ton. And by the way, the list is still scrolling I of know. dead wrestlers. <laughs> but we're kind of yeah, getting I to like, like, dude, you can go on forever. <laughs> oh, Chris Canyon died. Damn. And now we're getting to, towards the. Uh, yeah, jo- now we're getting a black <laughs> and white photo. <laughs> it's, now now hey. it's all it's all jobbers. Hey, Saturday hey. night job. Oh, Saturday. Moon Dog Spot. Who who, who the fuck, fuck is that? I love the Moon Dog. Did you really? I love Five. you. Know who that was? The I don't Moon even. Dogs? I don't yeah, recognize the Moon Dog. No, I don't know who the Moon Dog. Oh, dogs. I love the Moon. I'm being dead serious. I believe I you. You sound like you're being honest, dude. What do you think's longer? The list of wrestlers dead or porn stars dead? Go to dead porn stars. Wow. Can you Dude, bet on now DSI? you're going to start turning me on. Guys, you can go to BetDSI. BetDSI for all your bet needs. Go to BetDSI. Use the promo code 
punch 25. You get $25 betting cash. Can we bet on the next dead wrestler? Yeah. What kind of odds do you get for the next dead wrestler? Oh, we were on the same page. You got it. It's all heart attacks. It's because yeah. of steroids. It's the yeah. cocaine, the steroids, it's the, the fucking... fucking... They live the fun life. And you got Nana, yeah. who lives to 102 because she knits, and she just sits there and bothers everybody. Right? Jesus, Am it's I still right? going. Why is that lady alive? Why is that? Art Bell. Oh, my God. Art Bar. That guy. Art Bell. Uncle, Uncle Elmer. Elmer died. I do he remember him. Buzz Sawyer. I, I do know Buzz Sawyer, yeah. Bruce. By the way, this will be the entire fucking... Episode. We will literally go two hours. Go no, I, I mean, it's amazing how long this list. I mean, it literally just keeps going. Every Von Eric is dead. Every single. Doink the Clown's dead. Doink the. Fu- oh, there it is. It's uh, over. We got it. We got through it. Doink the Clown's the last one. <laughs> Doink the Clown. Doink the fucking Clown. Go to Dead Porn Star list. Go to Dead Porn Star. I think it goes Rustlers, Porn Stars, Comics. Well, you know, you see wrestlers doing stand-up, you see wrestlers doing porn, you see porn stars doing stand-up, you never see stand-up, but you do see a comic doing fucking wrestling. Oh, shit! Triple just brought it around! <laughs> he just brought it around! That's a professional broadcaster. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Lee, let's go through. Are these all the porn stars that died? Yeah, let's go up to, like... This is the in memoriam? Let's get the guys out of there. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Kent North. Real, North, real name Ben yeah, Gray. Okay, ben, his real name Ben Gray. I'm sure. I grew up in Kent, Ohio. So Andrew I... Grande. Do you see that? That's Ariana's brother. By the way, how many <laughs> of these chicks died because they were escorts and dudes didn't want them stalking? This guy. That guy. Loved Steve cock. Driver. Natural Steve causes. Driver loved cock. Natural loved cause. Cock. Love it. I'll remember that about Steve. He couldn't stop. This oh, guy. that guy. Sledgehammer. Oh, Sledgehammer. He's a wrestler, too, right? Dude, that guy has a monster. This guy's dick a wrestler, and Tom, too. Tom shot him. <laughs> this is... Sledgehammer versus King Kong Bundy. WrestleMania 2. <laughs> I remember that. John, only on, the, that only on, on this sports show do you fuck. hear that guy had a monster dick she was and like, then cops she shot di- him. She was like 10 years old when she died. Welcome to Bunch Drunk Sports. Was, they killed her because uh, she was an escort, dude. She had a monster dick, too. Yeah, this Yuri is Love. Group, this is a good group of girls that were all like murdered in this very short amount of time. Dude, Shia Styles. Okay, stop this on her. Stop it on her. We did a, uh, I did a show with Joe Sincotico in which he did a fucking, he used to be known as Joe King. And he would, uh, I did a uh, a sketch with her. And if she was so filthy, fucking Joe was like, please don't put that video out. And I took a picture of Joe with his nephew. And when he saw it on the big screen, he fucking freaked out. He's like, dude, you can't show that. My sister will kill me if he ever sees me with a picture with my nephew. And this filth. She was a super escort, dude. She was a super escort, dude. Number one escort in L.A. And these girls all were escorts. And they basically, mis- it was right around the Me Too movement. And they all fuck like she was an escort. She was a porn star for like three days, and they fucking off to her too. How do I have a feeling this is just the cast of the Naughty Show? It pretty much was. Like who are who are they? I never heard of any of those girls. Me well, either. I mean, like, dude, name me the porn stars you know. No, nah, I don't know. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah, <laughs> exactly. What's your tip? Bet DSI for all your betting needs. Want to bet on the next porn star that's going to die? Go to Bet DSI. Use promo code PUNCH25 and get that cheddar. I mean, so much to talk about. I guess Jags is not calling in. I thought I was going to call in. But it's he's all about this to. tournament. Get money going on the tourney. I have the weirdest thing right now. I am caught between my absolute hatred of Duke and how I know Coach K cheats like a motherfucker. Is that why you don't like Duke? No, I, I don't like Duke because they fucked up UNLV's perfect season. Right? Oh, you know? that, that goes back deep. Yeah. But I also know, listen, dude. When you've been in L.A. forever, right, and you meet that guy who's on stage, he's like, I love him. You, you're great. Every, and you know off stage he's just a cocksucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Coach K. You don't get that far without being cut. Right, right, throw. right. And right, this right. whole love everybody. Right, right. You guys are doing great is bullshit. That is bullshit. Right? But College sports is fucking So Zion cutthroat. gets busted. You know, uh, Johnny sent this thing to me. Gets busted asking for housing and jobs for his family at this other school. Gets busted. Nobody does anything. He goes to Duke. Nobody says anything. So the guy's asking for fucking cash, houses, cars for everybody at another school, but goes to Duke because he loves the game. Like blue chips. Yeah. 
right? So, no, I think Coach K, he's so decorated, though. I mean, he coached the dream team. Well, Does anybody believe that these guys who right, want money right. go to the pro, go to Duke because they want a good fucking year, six months education? Yeah, but I don't see, in my head, every goddamn university. It's got to be like that, that right? Yeah, but here's it's got to be. Why, why are they? Alabama and Duke. Why single them get, out when, like, they, when they everybody get busted, does it? It gets swept under the thing and nobody talks about it. Right. They never get hit with any penalties. They only bust all these other schools because ESPN and all these sports network they they want the Duke brand because everybody watches Duke. They don't want it to get hurt because they miss people that view it. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a weird paradox. It's, it's like if, if they Alabama if they break it up, then their then their their money. You know what I mean? These kids. You know, Alabama are gonna be football, gone. dude. Yeah. Players have come out. I got money. Of course, under the why shouldn't thing. they? Yeah, but every, the every, yeah, but dude, dude, that's not my point. Yeah, I'm yeah, fine yeah. with them getting paid. Yeah, yeah. But we have this rule where these other schools are just getting annihilated. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but the thing is, if they, it doesn't matter. These schools are going to get annihilated anyway. If it's legal, if it's but, illegal. But what I'm saying is that fucking Duke in Alabama. <laughs> Don't get annihilated. Yeah, because yeah. no one's going to go watch Central Michigan or these small schools. Yeah. So that's their moneymaker. And college basketball is with yeah, the. But dude, if you're destroying people's careers, it is garbage. Destroying though. their fucking. I agree. Their programs, and now you're letting this guy get all the glory. I live with a. I lived with a Division One athlete who was oh, Kent State's all time leading scorer. Drop? Mm. No, I didn't know. I didn't name his name. Close. Who was it? Who oh, was it? <laughs> so he, this kid, you what know, what sport did he play? He played a sport, and he was the all-time leading scorer of that sport. But he would steal Michael my ramen Jordan. noodles. Oh, you, you steal your ramen noodles? Yes, because he they didn't pay him. He's not allowed to have yeah. a job. He, he they're not allowed to work. Is yeah. he is he in the pros That's now? True. He had a couple coffee with a couple uh, summer league teams, <laughs> and then he went overseas and made a nice career for himself. No, Rod, that dude mm. banging euros all day. Yeah. Banging euros. Mother, well, well, what's the story, Johnny? Can you tell it on my mic? I, dude, I fucking smack that dude. I don't even really watch college sports that much because it's just such fucking garbage. It's like pay these fucking kids. I like it's a billion dollar industry. I like the football tournament. Football and college, I football and you. basketball, and it's but like man, I like the I tournament. Love Zion Williams. He, I've been watching this kid. He's so fun to watch. Oh, he's fucking grade. nasty. Yeah, and he makes nasty. me like Duke. Like yeah. I'm actually watching it's Duke. It's hard. I'm with you. I'm stuck. I like. I wish he could win, but the rest of the team loses. Yeah. I'm fine to wait till he makes it to the pros to watch him. I'm fine with it. He's uh he's gonna go to Knicks. Yeah, probably. Well, we, I just had a discussion with our Canadian friend over here. I la- and hey, and I appreciate you acknowledging I appreciate me. Appreciate talking to me. No one else is. <laughs> I'm just over here on the I don't couch. Care if how many anybody things is I buy wondering. them, I, they won't talk to me. <laughs> and he asked if they're gonna go to the Cavs. I go, the NBA is not gonna let that happen. Nope. Nah. We've had our shot. They're like, you had your title. You have about four teams in. He- I mean, like they want have, the Knicks to you be have good. New Orleans. You have the Knicks that they'd rather send that team to. The only people they don't want to send to is Phoenix. Over they'd, you guys. Uh, they'd rather send them to the Bulls over Cleveland. Yeah, but it's pro- it'll probably go Knicks, New Orleans. It should be New Orleans, but they're never going to send Zion to New Orleans. I they will mean, never send Zion. Uh, like, if, if LeBron wasn't from Cleveland, they would never send LeBron to Cleveland. Yeah. That was the story. So they'll send Zion to New York because he's going to go big. He, you got to go big with him. And with LeBron's decline right now, and I know, he's, I mean, did you see that shot against the Knicks? I mean, he just got swatted. I mean, yeah. he's, he is on the decline. Okay. It's happening. Dude, he is going to, if I was him, I'd pull Rich Paul aside and go, we got to get rid of these TV shows. I have to focus on this because this year will determine my legacy. I really do believe that. Like, he said, OBC is a great one, but how he's viewed as he leaves out. Like, look at Dwight Howard, bro. Dwight Howard is a Hall of Famer, and he is, like, nomad. Yeah. Because he fucked with the Lakers. Even though he didn't want to go there, he begged them not to. And he fucked transgenders. Well, dude, I think they all are, to be honest with you. I mean, dude, these guys get everybody pregnant. Don't you want sex with someone that doesn't come with a child support payment? (laughs) Jeannie Buss, I heard, was going to, like, trade LeBron. Oh, she's thinking. But, dude, LeBron didn't realize he's not bigger than the Laker brand. Yeah. That's what all these guys these in, in in Cleveland and we'll move on for that. But do you hear who the Lakers want to get as coach? Who? You're gonna die. Uh fucking uh Ty Lue. Doc Rivers. Well he's Jesus. already under a contract with the Clippers. Yeah, but he's got like one or one or two years and he wants to he wants another contract. What's up with these like You know how I hated he'd be if he did that. Dude, he doesn't get I would take him, dude. I dude, would listen to do me. That if Doc I was Rivers him. can't coach unless he has a Danny Age or Jerry West as a GM. Yeah. 
Magic Johnson, that is like, dude, that is taking dumb with dumber and Plus, putting it together. I can't, when, when has it ever worked that someone has taken a fucking, like, these archaic old coaches into any team? You know what I mean? Like the Gruden or the fucking, you know, the Doc Rivers or whatever. It's like, dude, it's 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 never been a proven formula. Dude, I formula. would love if Doc went there. Get the fuck out of here. I can't see him traveling that far, you know, putting his kids in new schools. I just don't see it happening. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love that. He's a he, dude. If we can get a different coach, I'd fucking love it, dude. I hate his defensive. I hate his rotations. Dude, I just, I just think they suck. Shout out to Mike Jaglin for giving me amazing tickets in an unbelievable Clippers win against the Nets. Did you watch that? I game? was at the oh, game. That game was crazy. It was, it was, it great. was amazing. It was, dude. I mean, that's a such a gritty, gutty team. Yeah, yeah. they're great. I also Definitely. like the Nets, dude. I feel bad for them because they finally got their act together. Yeah. And they're ready to fucking pounce. And then, boom, Zion's going to go to the Knicks and going to lose that yep. whole fucking city. Lose I don't that know. whole fucking They city. will. I mean, well, what will happen is, because Nick fans are Nick fans. Yeah. That is a team that they go hell or high water with. Of course. Right. But right. what will happen is there'll be a gazillion bandwagon people when Zion gets there. Yeah. Oh, dude. And, they're, dude. He's, I could I could see them, because you're seeing a lot of talk about James Dolan selling it. I could see them being like, we're sending Zion to you. Your, your, your franchise is going to be worth more than it's ever been. Sell the fucking team. You're either going to sell the team or we're going to find a way to sell, make you sell it. Yeah. Because they don't want that fucking brand ruined. Mm -hmm. Zion, they're going to do whatever they can to help that guy. It's been a long time since the Knicks were relevant. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Really, think about oh, it. Oh, it's been it's a been long time. Since, like, since Jordan? Since it was like John Starks and Jordan when they were they were right there, that's probably the last, and then Ewing before that when Jeff Gant Van but, Gundy was coaching. Yeah, Ewing it's pretty was, much Ewing. It's pretty much Ewing. Ewing. That's the Ewing. last time when they were big, big, big. Like, but I mean, they were a play always in the playoffs and always a yeah. you know in, in that Jordan era. Yeah, but not really. But not not like they were. No, not competitive. Shit, they really. were totally competitive. Really, to, they would go to like, seven games with the Bulls, and it would just like it would just. Finger roll and roll out, and then they yeah. wouldn't get in, dude. They went to the finals twice. They did? Yeah. yeah. OJ Simpson's. They played Houston in Bronco. Fucking. Remember when oh, the Bronco? Yeah, right. right. yeah, the legendary Bronco shirt. That's right. I remember yeah, that's going. Right. I remember going. Only that's Patrick, right. that would happen to Patrick Ewing. He finally gets to the finals, yeah. and they fucking have a Bronco chase. With AC Collins. That's hilarious. Whatever happened with that, anyway? No. I don't know. Thing. I didn't hear it. It kind of was brushing the Something remember. with a waiter. I don't know. <laughs> a coke thing gone bad. Uh, I mean, I lo I'm excited for this year. I, I do think it's going to be interesting to watch Zion Williams because here's the thing about Duke. Did they release the brackets? They're real. Yes. Yeah. Can we look him up? Hey, Johnny, stop playing fucking asteroids on your phone. I've already got the bracket up in front of me. I didn't see <laughs> Fucking shit. He's pissed. It's also Zion Williams thing. Hey, you get in the fucking penalty box. Oh. <laughs> why, did, why did he keep calling it? It's Zion Williams. <laughs> Flubbing. Muck, what we call this muck, mucker fucker? What was it? Muck maker? Muck. I don't know. Um, let's look at this. I, I mean, like, I, Duke's got the number one seed, which cracks me up. CBS Why? has a, Because, dude. Everyone's going to be watching. I mean, they won that conference, and they were, like, number two or three all season long. They have Duke losing in the They're a top four team. In, in you should what? get. They have Duke losing the Elite Eight to Michigan State. Who does? The CBS bracket. The CBS can kiss my dick. I, okay. Who do you, uh, you don't know anything. Who I'm, do you think's going to win? Into I just, I don't want to say Duke. Basketball. I want, I want, I love. They have Virginia winning it all. That's not happening, dude. Dave Bill has Carolina winning it. Of course he of does. Of course he does. I'm going to go with Gonz Gonzaga. Are they in the, are they in the They are. They're number one seed. I'm going to go with Gonzaga. I can't hear That's you. That's my, my favorite. I would like that. Oh. I would like to see Gonzaga. Uh, they're they're number one ranked. You're right. Sorry, I was thinking. In your uh, I I think Duke is beatable. We've seen it throughout the season. They are because they can have that one game off. And like Johnny was saying earlier before the show when we were uh, talking this morning, that that they're streaky shooters. That whole team. I love you know it's so funny about you, Tebow. Is like occasionally when you start doing somebody's impression, yeah, it starts like seeping into your regular talk. Right, like you could do. J I can, Jason Galern, you could be doing Jason Galern all the time out yeah. of nowhere. Now you are now literally talking like Garnett right now. You're like, I can <laughs> see it seeping through. <laughs> um, uh, who else we got? We got Duke's the number one. Duke's the number one. We got um, 
Who else is a number one? Yeah, I'm trying to... Virginia is a number well, one. Carolina is stacked. I mean, they got Jerry Stackhouse, Antoine Jameson. It's going to be a... That's a good team. That's a good <laughs> fucking team. I love that St. John's Duke gets made far. I hope the Duke gets far just because I want to watch fucking Zion a lot. I mean, he's, he's an exciting player to watch. What if I, he gets hurt again? I must say something. I know I don't know shit about college basketball. I'll be the first to admit it. Just say a team. No, I did. Gonzaga. Okay. I like Syracuse and Gonzaga, but I don't. I don't watch it. I just like Gonzaga because they were like they used to be the what underdogs. Do you do? What do you? What do you? Are do? they? Are they good now? Ever, ever, I'm gonna unlike that. I'm gonna actually block that guy. What did he say about permanent, permanent penalty box? Who? Who is? Me. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Is this Johnny's Twitter? No. Yeah, Johnny's <laughs> tweeting this shit. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go with something crazy. I'm going to go out on the limb. I could see, uh, Tennessee winning it. Ooh. Uh, yeah. You think so? I could see Tennessee winning it. I could see Carolina getting super deep. Yeah. I mean, deep in the guts. I mean, let me ask you guys this. Cause I, I honestly don't watch it, but are, is Do you it you watch college football? I, basketball? I don't watch college sports. No. Did you but watch any even of the football, college? football as well. <laughs> Not really. Hmm. Okay. okay. No. But let me ask you this. Do you watch it, college football or basketball at all? I don't watch college sports. Okay. Let me let me ask At you all. this though. Okay. Let me ask you. You know, I you know, I watch a game here. Oh, did and there. you go to college? Oh no, I did not go to college. Okay. That's yeah. That's probably a part of do it. Do you watch high school sports? Fuck no. All right. Dude, what do you think of Division Three <laughs> women's volleyball? <laughs> let me ask you this though: college basketball. Is there? Do teams that win? Is it usually the team that people think is going to win? Like, is Duke going to win this year? No, like, it's very. No, it's, it's it's up in the air, right? It's like yeah, anybody's. Like, I mean, like like Villanova, right? I think they were probably more seat, so than right? football. More so than football, college basketball is a lot, is a crapshoot, especially in the tournament. That's why that's March Madness is exciting. It, I it's guess so that's exciting. what makes it good. Yeah, but it, it's also kinda nobody like, knows. Yeah, nobody knows because it's the same with college football. It's everyone's like, oh, these two, and then it's usually a blowout. Not usually, but sometimes it's a blowout. College football in the national seems championship a little game. easier to predict in that sense than. That, so that, except they get the one surprises. and two teams, and then there's a fucking blowout, like fifty-two to nothing. It's just kind of ridiculous. And, and yeah, that, a sixteen's never beaten a one, right? I'm it's not still sure. never. And that's why last, 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 last year was the first time a sixteen beat a one. I only first know about skateboarding. Ever. And as a first proud, ever. proud Kent State General Studies graduate from the MAC, I am going with Buffalo at six to win it all. There you go, Buffalo, a MAC school I is like going to win Mac. it. Buffalo's an interesting school. Win it because all. What kind of money could I win if what? I put a hundred dollars on like, the most all? random team? Win it all! Team. Holy win shit! It all. Here's a good. How much Chad's money? Gone nuts. What are the odds? All of it. How much money would I win if I put like a hundred dollars? Hey, go to Bet the Aside. On... Bet the Aside for all your bet needs. Go there and Bet Buffalo on like the worst. Who's the worst team in the bracket? The, who, the these play the longest odds. The these play-in games. Today, Montana. Yeah, Montana. Sixteens. What? Okay, so how well, how much would I win if I put a hundred dollars on North Dakota State and they won it all? Oh, I don't Twelve dollars. What do you mean uh, they won't get? They'll, the longest shot they'll definitely give you odds on it because that's the worst bet, right? Yeah, they'll you, definitely take that bet. That's like saying like you know, Gary Parish was that his name? He has he's a basketball insider. He has Duke winning it all. Wow, what a uh, fucking hot take. I know. <laughs> I kind of can. I, I I think they will too if they can stay healthy. I I I'm taking Duke. <laughs> I can't. All right, you ready? I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. If you're watching the live stream. All right? Stream. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I am, there's an argument that Zion Williamson, that his year at Duke has changed his fortune. That when at the beginning of the season, if you look it up, the, the rankings of, and um, Johnny will agree, uh, attest to this, he was ranked third, the third player in the draft. Right? They had uh, R.J. Bennett, right, as number one. Barrett. Barrett. And then they had Little as number two. And they had Zion as number three. Is that 50,000 to one? All no, right. it's 900. It's, nine, it's, it's 9,999 to one. Oh, Do it. Dude, him playing a year, he put himself as the number one. Yeah, but is it worth risking injury for an entire year just to move up two spots? I don't know, man. I do know, and it, it was for him. He came back and well, played and put even bigger numbers well, up. Well, here's the thing I'll, I'll, I'll agree with Tripoli is he Thank actually you. is elevating his status as a player by playing on this national spotlight. Thank you. Well, he had to. Yeah, yeah, and is it worth it? Yeah, because what's the the worst? 
outcome is he gets injured. I mean, if it's a career-ending injury, yeah, that's fucking okay, bad. Okay, dude. But it, Since the beginning of gets, like, they're still gonna get. Money I've been following basketball. Do you know how many? You no know many guys who were projected to be number one got hurt and still went no, number right, one. Right, you still got fucking Kyrie Irving. Uh, what's that guy from Cincinnati that went to Denver and Mel Levitt? Yeah. Name drop. <laughs> yeah, is that yeah. A name drop. No, it's it's talking. All right. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, I know I'm, I'm with you totally on that, Johnny, but How at the same time, everybody's side, dude, but there wouldn't have been Dwayne Wade out of Marquette if he didn't play all four years. He wasn't that guy. That's so, true, too. So, but you know, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get guys that are the, the, like that. And then there's, there's going to be guys that have to play four years at a high level to, well, I'll tell you to what. be on the map or, and you're going to get guys from smaller schools that have to make a name for themselves three seasons in a row in the tournament. It really built, or whatever. it really built, uh, it really built trust with me, with Zion. So, I mean, that one year, really, with me, it really elevated the trust well, that's what with me. Because he's talking. the integrity. This is guy, he doesn't even follow college sports. The, but the integrity of this guy to say, you know what, money? I don't care about money. I just love the game. He likes this one year great. of education. This is great. Guys, go to you know SeatGeek.com. This is great. Go to SeatGeek.com. What comes up first? These, this is why we love our friends at SeatGeek. Okay, what comes up first? Hey, we want to go see some games. Look what comes up. Fuck the Lakers, but look at there. NCAA March Madness. Click on that. Hey, is there any games going to be in our area? Anaheim. Oh, shit. Second fucking week or second You want to go? Anaheim. Click it. Yeah, we're going. That's dude. Sweet 16. Let's click the days. March 28th. I cannot do. Oh, fuck. I'm out of time. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Can we get a press pass? Oh, dude, I can come to the March 30th, man. Bam. I'll go to that one. I'll go to March Elite 30th. Eight. That'll be the Elite Eight. I'll go to Elite Eight, eh? In the Honda Center in Anaheim, we'll California. Go to Elite Eight, yeah. Is there any, any team from Toronto there? Huh? Are the Canucks in? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like nine different. All right. And I'm going to play I'll my go. shillelagh. All right. I'll go if you guys buy in me Canada. tickets. I'll go to that oh, for sure. Oh, dude, thank you, dude. Yeah, I'll go to that. Thank you. Then if you buy the, me tickets. I'll after the game, we can enjoy a nice meal at the Yard House. I'm Canadian, man. No. <laughs> no, no. Why are you way up there? I, no, 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 no. Down, 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 down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Bust out Guys, the All Things Comedy credit oh, card. Go to SeatGeek. Oh, yes. I'm Canadian. Yeah. Go to Your first 500 tickets are on Sam. Look at that. One, 181 right there on the corner. That's not that bad. 181. Go to SeatGeek.com. Use the promo code. Punch Drunk. Punch Drunk. And get... Fit, what ten dollars off your first purchase? Ten dollars off your first purchase, okay? Guess what? You go to a spring training game. Those tickets are like five, six bucks. That's a free ticket. Yeah, okay. they'll send you back four. No, they won't send you back four. But the point is, is that uh, these these are cheap. Help out our punch drunk by helping uh, by supporting our sponsors at SeatGeek.com. Now SeatGeek is great because they give you the list of they brace basically break down. Are the tickets good? Is this a good deal? Is this a bad deal? All the tickets yep. are good, but are they good? Is this a good deal or is this not a good deal? Green is good. Red, not so good. Right? Yeah, sometimes, the, the, you know, the red ones are the only thing that's left. Go, there's nothing you can do. Go to Burke. look at that baseball game right there. Bam. Look at all those green tickets. Six, six bucks. Six bucks. That's yep. why baseball is the best. It is the yeah. one sport Baseball's you can go see for nothing. Yeah, it's great. Right? Nothing. 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 Don't, Seriously, it's great. Put in Burt Kreischer. Put in Burt Kreischer. Let's see how his. Oh, thing. It's all red. It's all red. <laughs> Look at that. Dude. Oh, two, eight. Why is 218 so big? Why is Wisconsin so much? 235. What the Damn. fuck? Let's call Burt and find out why. No. Oh, shit. Sold out. No, I think it's just going. 235 to see Burt? <laughs> Dude, I'd pay 32. Dude, he's. Dude, that guy is killing on yeah. a level we don't even understand. I mean, that's how you Here's get Here's something you can't understand. <laughs> oh, I can just kill a man! <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoa. That's tempting. So that was a little close. tempting. Wow. So Chuck D with Flavor Flake. I Come know, on. you can't really. Come on. So go to our friends at SeatGeek. We're a bit very racist, thankful. right? They are well, good send friends. dog. I forgot. We are good. Be hey, uh, right now, uh, Network Solutions suggested I buy the uh, domain samriverside.com. That's what they suggest. I don't know why. Dude, make that your new name. I'm going to start calling you Sam Riverside, though. Because that's what they do. Oh, I'm sure. I was going to tell you this Fang Chow story. 
So he, I'm hanging out with my friend, uh, and Feng Chao comes up. Door guy, door guy at yeah. the comedy store. Door guy yeah. at the comedy store. thing right there. Let's show him who Feng Chao is. Yeah, the chowman of the board. Oh, he's yeah. the cover of the book. You know it, Chowman man. of the board. Hilarious comic, good friend of all of ours. And he Very comes cool. up, and Very he's cool t- got a you know pretty heavy Chinese accent. <laughs> and he's telling me, I have sex with girl other night. I come in her, then I spit on her tit. That's just dirt talk. (laughs) And now I can't stop saying dirt talk. (laughs) That's real dirt talk. He's funny. (laughs) He's great. He's got to get out out more. He gets out a lot. He's starting to get out a lot. He needs to go out more. For sure. We all got to get out more. I got to get out more. Some point you gotta go out and just him and Punky, go, him and Punky go on the road all the time. Oh, They're just in Chicago like, for a long time. That's like <laughs> the, the, the rush right hour there. of fucking comedy right there. She's a black lesbian. She's lesbian. hilarious. He's straight Chinese. She's insane. Together she's they're so fighting funny. crime in Chicago. She's insane. Punky she's so, so funny. Fucking insanely. Funny. Yeah, she's gonna be huge. Yeah, I, I hope agree. So. Totally I agree. hope so. Totally agree. All right, all right, guys, that was a great show. What else you guys want to talk about? I mean, uh, a lot of fucking NFL moves been going talk on. Talk to me about I'm it, stoked, dude. Yeah. Maverick, talk have to you, me. Who have you gotten? Uh, Eagles picked up. Um, fuck, man. Falcons uh, haven't done shit. I mean, just a couple D offensive linemen, but we got we got to pay our guys. Why am I suddenly blanking? Well, they they, they signed some of their their uh, their own guys, but. Um, oh, oh, Deshaun oh, Jackson. Stop, stop. Deshaun Jackson. I have to. I know. I oh, yeah, I'm Deshaun Jackson. I don't know why I'm blanking. I have to do a baseball announcement. This is coming out. Mike, Mike Trout. Trout. Oh yeah, this is huge. The Los yeah, Angeles Mike Trout are about to finalize a contract worth four hundred and thirty million dollars over twelve years. Oh my god. Oh, I know. Yeah. All probably guaranteed. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. No opt out. <laughs> no opt out. Oh my God! He's probably gonna win the World wow. Series. Well, that was like the Phillies just signed uh, Bryce Harper. No, that's even crazy. But I like Mike deal. Trout. That, like three fifty. But that's what I'm saying. That's what that's what piggybacked, you know, the Mike Trout thing because they signed. Go, the Phillies go, signed it him to the what, top? Like, What's the years? title of it? Was the title of it? I mean, like, dude. Well, too well. D- Dodger tickets just went up on our good friends at SeatGeek. He's Dodger not, tickets. You know, they gave angel him, he's never won a playoff game, and they gave him that much but money. Dude, dude. He's the best he signed with the baseball. Angels? He's not even close. I yeah, thought you yeah. said he signed with the Dodgers. No, no he signed with the Angels. Oh, okay. I would love if he was a Dodger. Oh, that's, that's what I insane. thought you would yeah, be so great. I would go to every game, yeah. He okay. may that's never, that's ever that's what I thought make you the just playoffs said. again with that contract, but he right. is worth it. He's the best. He's the best baseball player. Yeah, he's so good. Dude, everyone's like, he's got to go to Philly. He's got to go to Philly. I don't think they win a World Series. I love Philadelphia. It's a wonderful city. But when you're king of Southern Cal. Yeah, why would you go to Philadelphia? (laughs) Like sunshine, blue sides, and Asian chicks everywhere. Why would you go anywhere? Have you been to Philadelphia? Yeah, sure. And then have you been to Anaheim, California? (laughs) It's like, it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, right? You're like, you're the king. Also, you could buy a private jet and fly to Philadelphia any day you you want want. to. Anytime you want, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're going to live in a fucking gay community with the best looking people around you. All are happy because they're all rich. The sun is shining sun every is shining. fucking day. You are living in a Republican a Republican county in Democrat California yeah. where everything's clean as a whistle. Everyone's Fake happy. Fake tits everywhere. Right? Yeah. Bikini, but, uh, surfing. Dude, women, it's legally they must bleach their asshole every fucking other rape, week. Rape is legal. Right. Yeah, it's a state what? law. Right. Is it? I think it is. Monster <laughs> energy drink flows out of the taps in your bathroom. Yeah. Right. It's insane. It's so nice. Yeah, when you flush, it's monster <laughs> energy drink. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Okay back to the NFL I wish the Phillies I'm a, I'm, I'm a Phillies fan Obviously that would be crazy But I mean They're, they're looking decent this year um, You got, he right. got hit in the ball In his ankles And he's on the ground I, That I, And this might come back yeah, and fu- I mean, This is probably dude, gonna Fucking you, fuck them you, you know how it is I mean when you're comfortable It's like you just got paid 430 million dollars Are you really gonna I work mean, That think, fucking I mean, hard so good, Yeah cause you yeah, got that much pressure Yeah but are pressure. you gonna work that I mean how much pressure Do you really have Dude it's so funny That's that, got the Conor seriously. McGregor effect I call it the Conor McGregor effect What has he done since he got $120 million. Right. Remember Mike Tyson when he fought Lennox Lewis? I see pictures like, of him working out. I see his on his Instagram, beat. he has photos of him working out. And then he said, thanks for the fucking This is the guy payout. who was fighting every nine again. months. He said, let's do it again. Hey, dude. He would Man, fight every nine months. I've, if you if you had Mike Trout walk out into any random city and ask anybody, just walk down the street, who is this guy? How many people do you think could name that that is Mike Trout? I mean, depends where you are. If you go to like Portland, Oregon, 
Yeah, probably not that Seattle. many. Probably not that many. Um, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. More people because okay. they probably watch baseball. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but, but put it this way: if he put, if he had a suit and tie Orlando, on, right? Florida. If he didn't have a baseball hat on and a baseball uniform, people wouldn't know who the fuck he or is. Or with his course. last name on his back. Right. Well, <laughs> we were we were standing next to Baker Mayfield, and I I'm a fucking Browns fan. Right. Right. I, I didn't even know who he was. He was wearing NFL shit. I, I would recognize Baker Mayfield. Yeah. But I think I would recognize more NFL. I players did, man, dude. Baseball he walked players. right by him. I know. I didn't and even know. And then when he found was him, he started sucking his dick. Yep. So yep. Weird. You know, oh man, too bad he didn't have the penalty box button for him. Chris there. Rock walked into the comedy store yesterday and just yeah, walked right him. out. Walk right, yeah, walk right by me. And we're like, is that fucking Chris Rock? I know. And, and he's like, you know, amongst us up there. Oh uh, yeah, dude, totally. Ari hates him. Why? <laughs> what? Sounded like name dropping, but I didn't want to hit. I don't want to hit the penalty. No, name drops like I know him. That's my dude. I cannot believe you just said that, dude. I cannot, it was totally relevant to what we're talking about, whether you can recognize a pro athlete or not. That's true. He was. Oh, I was in conversation. Johnny, Does Johnny get the penalties? Fuck up. Are you throwing Johnny in the penalty box? Yeah, I wish Sounds I could. like it. I don't need his fucking. What, he's fuck. above and beyond penalties? All he has to do is he's move the coach. over like he, 10 he, feet. He's the coach. <laughs> the only reason he, he works the timers, so I that's see, why he can't yeah. go in there. <laughs> yeah, who would time himself? <laughs> that. If got, you throw Johnny in the here. you throw Johnny in the penalty box, it opens up a black hole. NFL, <laughs> what are we talking about? Let's go do it. NFL, it's time for the NFL. Eagles got Deshaun hey, Jackson, when's, when's, by the way. Yeah, I like him yeah, coming it's back. It's I, mean, I just texted him. Now, tell him to call him. Bortles to the Rams. Oh, yeah, Bortles, Bortles with the Rams. to the Rams. Yeah, put them over the top. Bortles. Yeah. Nick Foles to the Jaguars. That's a good one. Whatever. It I, is. I yeah, we'll see. I think we'll see who he really is. If he was, yeah, we will. We will. We will. Because he has no one to throw to either. Yeah, this guy has no one, one to throw there? to. Involved Mercedes with, Lewis? With, with, yeah, yeah. One, one of the... Um, um, yeah, who is it? It's I think it's a wide receivers coach or something like that. It's not one of the... It's not one of the big... Um, the Colts coach is uh, was the uh, offensive coordinator and... Um, Colts are going to be good. Man, who was I, the QB coach back then? I, I can't remember. Browns would be good, uh, too. We're talking uh, about Browns Nick, are the, Nick Foles, no, Nick we're the most exciting team in the league 100%, right now. 100%. The Browns yeah. are going to be incredible. The most exciting team. Uh, oh, we yeah, are. Back Absolutely. Home. Dude. Absolutely. The most exciting team. I think yes. right, now, right now, yeah. Over the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, fuck yeah. that. Right I'll fight everybody here. Who do you hear talking about the Chiefs, and who do you because hear talking about the Browns? Because they're up at that place. But oh. that's not what we're saying. What we're saying is everybody's talking about Odell what, what Beckham the, and and Landry, and they played in college together at LSU. Yeah, they were yeah. Yeah, and they're like best friends. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. To watch. And they got fucking. We're what, the favorites with the AFC name? North. Kareem Hunt. Yeah, Kareem Hunt. Chubb. And he only got eight games, which I predicted last week on the show. I'm like, he won't get more than eight games. Three weeks ago, I was in the Valley getting sushi with Trip. We walked right by Maker, Baker Mayfield. <laughs> 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 and Baker Mayfield. Did you recognize him? He. W- I didn't recognize what? him at first. Sam did. Then I asked for a photo, and he said they're going to win the Super Bowl. There you go. It's it's unreal. We were zero sixteen in two thousand seventeen. So this is amazing that we we can we're favored. To, there, yeah. It sucks they had to give up Jabril Peppers in that trade. Jabril Peppers. Jabril. Why? Who's he? Uh, uh the. Starting safety, he was great. I loved him. Uh, uh, oh, they uh, gave up the they gave him to the Giants or yeah, Giants. the Odell Beckham trade. Yeah, so he'll be like uh, he'll be their starter. He's now. decent. Oh, He's yeah. real good. Yeah, yeah I yeah. love him. He was awesome. I didn't know in they gave, I didn't know they gave up player player swap. I yep. thought they just gave picks up. Yep, it, 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 him and whatever pick they gave. I don't him. know what the fuck the Giants. I guess was their first. I don't know what the Giants are doing. That's insane to give up Odell Beckham. He's basically well, it's insane. Money give up Odell offense. Beckham. And keep Eli. Right. It's like, right. if you're going to get him, you got to ship out Eli. Yeah, you got to ship out it's Eli. It's so dumb. And this year, when it's like the quarterback draft is like null and void, it's like, what I don't are you know, guys I like that guy doing? from Buffalo. Come, 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 come. I don't know. The Giants are just fucking horrendous. His phone was recording every word we were saying. He was just doing like voice to type. <laughs> so I just kept saying, come. You fucked up his It's like phone. a huge paragraph of everything we've just said. Come, come, come. <laughs> come. What are you trying to do, Sam? What? What are you trying to do? He's trying to take over the world. Yeah, dude. Podcasting. It's called fucking business, dog. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> Yeah, having Hunt, having Hunt too is, a, I mean, and eight games, so he'll be back like October. Right, right. He'll be fresh. No, I don't know. The Browns are going to be good. It'll be fun to watch. Browns they have no good. excuse. Raiders will probably win it. They have no excuse. Ra- Raiders will probably win it. Raiders. Raiders. I know. Fucking Raiders. And we don't even have the fucking draft yet, so we don't know what the hell's going to happen. When is the draft, actually? Middle of April. Tomorrow. And where is it this year? 
it is in Dallas. 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 Yeah, Los Feliz. It's in Los, Los Feliz. Nice. Silver Lake. It's in Silver Lake. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> It'll be good in Dallas too. It'll be good there. Twenty bucks for coffee. April, They'll 100 percent have it here whenever they. When's, open uh, when's uh, opening? Uh, when's the opening day of uh, Major League Baseball? When's Dodgers? Like two weeks or something? No, it's like ten days. When's Dodgers first game? 28th. 28th. Wow. So, but everybody's so excited about nothing. Are we I going? Know. Yeah, no, I want to go. I'm Let's go. Going. No. Fuck you guys. It's like got, twelve dollars. I'm making cheddar. Last year I bought a, a really cheap seat and I went there early and I sat right behind home plate and then I. Uh, I just stayed there the whole game. I don't even want to talk about how I did it, but I stayed there the whole game. I I found like four seats that were empty and just stayed there and I watched uh Aaron Nola pitch against uh Kershaw. Oh wow. it was fucking so good. When like you were six right, rows right back, there. I paid wow. twelve bucks or something like That's that. Amazing. We'll never get that time back from that story. Damn. Um, <laughs> it was great. I'm excited about baseball. I don't know. <laughs> I am too. I, I, I was just saying last night how, how much I like going to games. I like going to I games. Love that all-you-can-eat section at Dodger Stadium is great. That's hilarious, too, yeah. It, 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 it's it's so funny. Yeah, I, it's I, the I, best. I, I've seen it, but I haven't like, actually bought it. I was getting some HGH tickets. pills because so I take HGH pills to yeah, get of course. me fucking shredded. Right? Hell, yeah. And uh, I was walking there, and at uh, Hollywood Highland, there is a Dodger store. And I'm like, I'm going to go in there and see if they have any Puig jerseys Hollywood left. Hollywood and Highland. Up in that mall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah, yeah. a Dodger store. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to see if they have a Puig jersey because it's probably worth, they'll probably sell it for nothing. I went in. They have one XL left. I go, how much? They're like, 40 bucks. I got a, a authentic Dodger jersey, $40. Normally costs 140 And day. you were making fun of my story? What the fuck, man? That was a good <laughs> <laughs> One time I went to an Indians game. Dude, you I saw... So you bought a fucking jersey. Great story, dude. For 40 bucks. I bought a jersey. <laughs> dude, I went to a fucking Rams game and there was this dude selling a t shirt for 10 bucks, man. I bought a fucking Rams t shirt. An official <laughs> Rams t shirt. a black guy on the road. For 10 I bucks. An yeah, and I, and, I, and I fucking, you know, and I helped the black community out. You know, I supported the black community. Do you like one? <laughs> One time I went to an Indians game. I saw Corey Kluber pitch like six innings, and I like bought the ticket for fifteen dollars, and he just pitched all six innings. That's fucking amazing, dude. That's <laughs> Holy shit! Heard that story five times. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? You told that story on Patreon. <laughs> 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 Oh man, they're I paying love, for that story. I love this instant feedback we're getting. That's a paid story, man. That's who's that, Jim up, Jameson? <laughs> hey, is is uh, is Jim Jeffries calling in or Florentine? I text Florentine. Yeah, he was, <laughs> was that a name drop? I wish Jim Jeffries was fucking calling in. <laughs> I know. What if he calls in? He just has like Why the most boring story about buying a jersey. <laughs> all the work he's doing in the community. Suddenly, this guy loves people. <laughs> I know. <what> I mean. <laughs> Whoa! The sign. I Bruce Irvin, Panthers. Oh. Saw that. He's not. I mean, he's no spring chicken, but he'll no. get you for five or okay, six. Okay, here we go. What are you doing, dude? We're going to the Brody Stevens hotline on the phone right now. Oh, Brody Stevens from Jim Jersey. Florentine. How are Jim you, Jim Florentine? Buddy, how are you? Can you Hello? hear? Can you hear us? Can you hear us, Jim? Yeah, where are you go? Guys, broadcasting out of Chad's car. <laughs> no, I, off his fucking phone because Chad didn't give you the number to the studio. Okay. Can okay. You... Hey, Jim, call this number. What's the number? That's what I told Chad. So let's be yeah, professional. Chad... Let's not call on my phone. <laughs> oh, fuck. Go into the fucking studio. Well, there's a penalty. Okay. No, call this number. Me. What is it? 323 282. Seven four two four. Okay, call that dude. It will be much easier. I'll text him. Seven four two five. Two four. He's gonna he's gonna text it to you. Two minutes, Chad. Two minutes. Got a two minute or Chad Zumach. Two minute or dude. Really did it to yourself, you bro. Really did it by 
fucking producing horribly, okay? <laughs> if you're going to be a producer on a show. I would feel like that would be a five-minute major, no. and the flubbing is a two-minute minor. You no. guys are hey, really— Hey, you make the fucking rules. I, I'm not saying I do. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to figure out how it works around here. You know, that right. seemed like a hey, real— Hey, so are we. That seemed like a real harsh— <laughs> We're trying to figure out this shit, too. That yeah, seemed like a serious penalty to only get a two-minute for that. But, hey, whatever, you know? Hey, I'm not—, I'm not we're trying to figure this whole shit out as well. How old is the penalty? It's pretty button? new. It's, it's, Chad, how long have you been on the show? We're just, just giving it a, just a test drive, and it's going pretty good so what far. What has he been on here for like a month now? I it's see. a month old. It's about a month. The penalty, bo the penalty box follows Chad around, I, I assume. <laughs> I assume that he's uh, leading the league Sometimes in penalty when minutes. He's the only person that's ever been in it. Sometimes when he's doing, hello. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Oh, Hi. that seems much more official. There we go. There we How go. How are there you, Jim go. Florentine? What's up, What's buddy? The word. I'm just surprised that I couldn't. It couldn't sound good through Chad's cell phone. Yeah, Chad's fucking. He's got the iPhone negative four. Well, yeah, he said that it, it, we'll patch you through on my phone. I'm like, how is that gonna happen? Yeah, Chad. Chad is it didn't. The worst. The worst, dude. Hey, write down this time that he uh he called in, please. Time right to give it to Johnny. Um, so, dude, are you excited? You're coming out. We got two shows. We have a, a late night Thursday at the dojo. And then the four of us, myself, Chad Zumach, you, and uh, Joe Bartnick will be doing the the uh, uh, the new rec room that's out here that everyone's kind of playing. It's kind of a place you play when you want to do a, a road gig in L.A. It's a nice spot. No, I can't wait, man. I've been to L.A. probably like four or five months now for some reason. And um, I always love doing shows with you guys. And, you know, it's, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Well, unfortunately, the gang can't get the, get the back together because, you know, Brody was part of the Social Justice Warrior um, team. And, you know, you guys kind of got super close when we worked together. And it was like, didn't we just enjoy, like, how much? Like, Brody loved two things on the road, and that was Alex Jones and hardcore pornography. In some way. It, in it some was way. so much fun. Like, he would sit there and either watch InfoWars or watch, like, chicks taking on 90 dudes' <laughs> <laughs> blowjobs. It was a lot of fun, man. Man, that was such a, a great trip. You know, to us four, we did San Antonio and Houston and all that, and just hanging, staying in Airbnbs and busting balls and going on the radio and stuff. It was great, dude, and uh, it, it, it's fucking, we loved him, and it was like, so I'm glad we're getting the band back together. We'll have a little Brody Stevens moment with us all together, um, but we're getting, so we're going to be at the rec room this Saturday night. Come down. It's going to be four powerhouse people. Um, Giants, uh, you're a Giants fan, right? Or, no, he's a Dolphins. Oh, you're a Dolphin. That's right. I mean, you're from the Jersey area. Oh, by the way, Tiff's is great, man. I know you live near there. I just did Tiff's. We sold out the first show, and the second show was half packed, and it was uh that's a fun room to play, man. Yeah, it's a little shitty gig in Jersey above the restaurant, <laughs> but they got a comedy room upstairs. I've done it like three times. I enjoy it's like 45 it. Forty five minutes from my house, and I'm like I want to work on an hour of material, and it's the perfect place to do it. Right, dude? You need those rooms where you can just fucking work on shit, dude. Work on shit. But back to the Dolphins. Are you excited they got rid of Tannehill? He needed to go. You know what I mean? He's a good dude and everything, and he's a good guy, a team player, but he just doesn't have it. He's not, you know, he's not going to take you to a Super Bowl, and they waited too long, and they just kept you know, buying into it that he was going to, you know, get to the next level. He just never did. Well, I, I so just they need to tank for a season and then hope we'll see what happens. I mean, they signed Ryan Fitzpatrick because they want to be a bust, but you never know. That guy gets hot for a little bit and then he sucks. No, well, dude, want to win this is games. every dude, single. He's going to be good for six games. You... First six games, he's going to crush good. it. Yeah, he's going to win six games for you guys. Something That's not happened, good. and then they, they just, oh, yeah, this is for Joe, and they shut him down. Yeah, totally. But the first six, he'll put up, no, like, dude, supposedly he's put up, like, numbers better than Troy Aikman. In some games, he's been, like, Hall yeah. of Fame hot. It's yeah. the first six games that he crushes, and then they just go, oh, he yeah. He lit the Eagles win. up last year. I remember that. I mean, he absolutely lit the Eagles up for, like, six touchdowns or something like and that. And then they, like, they're talking about maybe Miami getting this fucking kid out of Oklahoma. What's his name? Um, Kyle Murray. Yeah. Would you like that five foot ten guy? Well, I, yeah, I would want him. I mean, but he's not. Miami has no shot at getting him. He's going to go number yeah. one. Yeah, he's going to go number one. They're going top five for sure. How about they got no shot again? Would you guys go and get uh, the kid that they drafted last year, Arizona? What's his name? Um, Tebow. Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen. Yeah. Would you go get him? I, I mean, would say for a if I can get him for a third round pick, 
I would definitely take him and see what happens. I think that, he's going to be they're, good. They're, the Dolphins are banking on 2020 with Tua coming out and all these other great quarterbacks, but you don't know what's going to happen. Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to be six and ten. They're going to they're going to yeah. draft eleven next year. Yeah, and there's going to be four teams in front of them. They're going to take all these great quarterbacks. Yep. So you're not and you can't trade up. You can't trade up. So you're screwed. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. They Dolphins. said the Cowboys are in talks uh, for Dolphins defensive end Robert Quinn. He's good, but they don't need him. You know, he, they're rebuilding, so he's expendable. If you can get a fourth round, fourth or fifth, fifth round pick for him, take it definitely. So, right. uh, what you, I hope that one of the teams takes him. What's your take on what the Giants are doing right now, where they're like got rid of Odell Beckham, but they keep fucking uh, the, Eli. Eli? It just makes no sense. Well, Odell's, you know, he's a, he's a major problem for teams. Yeah, because he amazing, loves though. Dick. You know, so it's one of these typical diva receivers who co- causes problems in the locker room and, you know, is smoking weed down in Miami and one day off before he starts a playoff game with Justin Bieber, you know. Yeah, so, get yeah, his yeah. dick sucked you know, by Justin Bieber. You ever see that video? Around, but... You ever see the okay. video where somebody walks in on Justin Bieber blowing Odell Beckham? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, it's a weird no, fucking video. I, I could see that. I could see Wrong that. podcast. <laughs> Wrong podcast. Welcome to Homo Rock NFL. Uh, yeah. Is, is, is this it, a conspiracy podcast? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I yeah. believe that one. Slowly bleeds <laughs> into each other. Um, is uh, Eli a Hall of Famer? Uh, yeah, fuck, yeah. Of course. You went, you went two Super Bowls, you're a Hall of Famer. You're crazy. He, he points to the Eagles is. fan. I'm like, oh, don't make me say it. I bet he's absolutely a Hall yeah, of Famer. Yeah, he is. Of course. I think he is. Yeah, he is. Is Baker no Mayfield brainer. already a Hall of Famer, Chad? Absolutely. <laughs> so, I mean, all he has to do, oh. Baker Mayfield. All, Didn't you meet him? <laughs> we did. Why do you bring that up? That's crazy. I heard Baker that. Mayfield can play with his left hand next season. We'll still go to the playoffs. Damn, Chad oh, calling shit. shots right now. Chad's calling Fucking shots. Look, they, they, the Browns fans are like the Jet fans. They get cocky. They haven't done anything. In <laughs> right. Years, they get cocky. Yeah. They're always Three the cockiest in, in their off season. Excited. What do you think? How do you think the Jets are going to do now that they got the, the, that running back? I mean, they got to. They'll be better. Yeah, they'll be better. Sam Darnold. Those USC quarterbacks are never good in the NFL. So you don't yep. know. I mean, um, tiny hands, Donald. He's got super well, tiny hands. About the NFL. Just notice about the NFL. There's never been a team that stocked up on on dra- on um, free agents and trades with big time players that, that that did well the net that year. The Redskins tried it a bunch of times, signing so Deion Sanders, Bruce Smith, and like six other guys. It never works out. Yep. So I'm not buying in on the Browns. Yeah, they we're not buying in on the Browns. Hey, speaking of uh, the Jets, uh, Florentine's good friends with uh, Adam Gase. Really? Yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy because he's a huge fan of yours. And now he's the coach of the Jets, so you're going to be able to go and hang out there and watch those games. My my most hated franchise, a, a guy that I became friends with goes to. Like, that's one of the most hated franchise in all of sports is the Jets. So now we text each other. He goes, I don't know if we could be friends anymore. And I go, <laughs> and I text him back. I go, I know. I go, it's like you're fucking my, my ex-girlfriend. Yeah. I, I still liked her. That's so hilarious. I don't know if I can you either. <laughs> So how was your time in Florida, Florentine? Did you get busy? I was nice. Yeah. Huh? Florentine's a good man. He goes out there. He's just a man's man. Man's man. Yeah, he goes out there. He lets ladies know who's He goes boss. out there. Yeah, he goes out there. Real men go out there. Real men go yeah. out there. He just goes out there, lets ladies know who's running the show. He just lets them know he's out there. Yeah, yeah, he's out there, too. Just like, hey, ladies, I'm out here. Banging straight. So what's going to happen with that, that metal show? Everybody seems to be wanting to get it back on TV. Yeah, exactly. People that don't know how TV works <laughs> want to get back on TV. Jim, you should just put it on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, it would actually be, dude, it would be perfect for Netflix. I'm like, okay, so what do you want me to do? I mean, it, you know, I, you know, like when, when, when the Sopranos ended, do you think people are going around the gather and go, come on, what about Netflix? <laughs> 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 you got to admit, though, you got to admit another no season of Sopranos host. would sell well on Netflix. Well, they're going to do a movie. I know, and the he's prequel. dead. Like, what do you do without the guy that no, did it? No, but the, 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 you know, the prequel, you know. Yeah, the, the, no, I know, but, you know, look, the network owns the show. That you, you, you know, yeah, every, if the fans loved it, that doesn't mean that it, it can go on. People are like, why don't you just do it on YouTube? I go, okay, great. So, all right, there's about, you know, 32 people that work for the show. So, right. who pays those people? <laughs> Look, man, 
We don't need reality injected into our life, man. We want to believe what we want to believe. Just put it on YouTube, they, man. They are, they are bringing Crank Yankers back, though. They did announce they are? that. Yeah, oh, that's, that's great. We're on Comedy Central. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What's the information? Yeah. It's going to be on like pop be on, TV. No, on... It's got to be on Comedy Central, right? I mean, they it's their show. Right? I would assume. 20 new, 20 new episodes on Comedy Central. Oh, that's great. See, Comedy Central start, must be realizing, hey, the, the, the stuff that people like is the shit talking. I mean, it's part of it. For and sure. Jim's the lead puppet right there. Look, we have it on the screen. That's that special ad. Oh, uh, I cannot wait. Yeah, I think this. Todd Reese made those puppets. Can you still do that? No, they I can't wrong? do special ed guy anymore. No, that was the whole thing. Like, can Jim still do special ed in 2019? Well, Jim will do uh, super specially loved ed. <laughs> no, they changed the name to retarded as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, look, I did two characters on the show. I know I'm going to be back on it. I don't. I haven't heard anything. I just know. You know, I'm definitely part of the reboot. So sweet, that's dude. That's sweet. Or well, you deserve it. I got a new dumb fucking retard ed. That's what they're going to call it. Uh, I get that. <laughs> So you just took his joke and fucking <laughs> just redid it? That's a that's, that's a, a remix. Oh, that's oh, one minute. That's a one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. It's like worse the crime, the less the penalty. What's going on over yeah. here? Yeah. He got five He's minutes got for just for not plagiarism. saying tavern, tavern right. You I know, know what I, I mean? Know. Early in the podcast That's episode. Straight up plagiarism. He only gets one minute. Holy shit. shit. What would you do Jesus. to Carlos Mencia? 30 seconds? Fucking hell. That just went to the penalty box. Sorry, Jim. That seemed like a vicious penalty. That seemed like a real, like, like a fucking, like a high stick and blood coming out, you know, and it's a one minute penalty. I never even heard of a one minute penalty. Half a penalty. That's the first one ever. That's a first one minute. Oh, he gave him two minutes anyway. Yeah, okay. He just disobeyed you. Johnny, make an executive decision there, Sorry Johnny. I, I like that, it. Jim. We had to pe put your friend in the penalty box. Chad is really out of control on the show lately. So the only way we can manage it by throwing him into a penalty box is we just go sit uh, in a chair and listen to I, professionals. I don't, I don't want to be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that uh, this, uh, this graffiti writer from, from New York Todd Reese made the puppets on Crank Yankers. I'll okay. give him a shout out. Todd Reese, he's a great artist. Right. But um, if he didn't make the puppets and I'm wrong, oops, but he's still an amazing artist. R E A S. When do you get in town, Jim? I'm coming in Thursday afternoon. Thursday afternoon. Jim, are you a NCAA guy at all? No. <laughs> okay. No, uh, I have. What I you... can't. It's too much. It takes too much time out of my life. Are you a baseball I, I can man? I do baseball and football. What do you what what's your takes on baseball right now? Well, I love that Mike Trout got that huge contract. Jesus Christ! Harper thought he was going to be the highest paid player in the, in the league, and it, that lasted a week. Yeah, yeah. I, fuck Bryce Harper. Hey, that was like a hundred million dollars. Hey hey hey, 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 Fuck Bryce Harper. Whoa, Mike whoa. Trout is the shit, though. Yeah, dude. definitely. I'd rather have Mike Trout than Trout's Bryce an Harper. animal. Bryce Harper did not want to go to the Phillies. He had no choice. He really didn't want to play in Philadelphia, but they offered him the most money. And he thought he was going to get four hundred million, and he's not because he's a streaky player. Yeah. And uh, Trout is just an Trout is way better than him. But Trout's a, a low key guy, plays in Anaheim, and doesn't seek the spotlight at all. And um, you know, he's the best player in baseball by far. Yeah, he. I mean, dude, and it just sucks because he'll probably not go anywhere with the Angels. I mean, I know where he's going to the bank with four hundred three million dollars, but. He's not going to compete for, I mean, they're just not going to be able to. I know they're opening up a new arena. I think they're going to try to move closer to L.A. Because they really want to be an L.A. team than be an Anaheim team. Seriously, they're, they're, yeah. they're building a they new stadium? They want to get a new stadium. Where? Closer to Los Angeles. They could build one right near me. I live in Hollywood. Uh, yeah, right, by, right couple, next to ho Homeless Depot where you live. There's a couple, like, uh, parking lots. I think they're probably going to go to Inglewood. Everybody just wants to go to Inglewood. You're going to have a football stadium, a basketball arena, and a, a, a baseball field. And the stadium. forum. And the forum. And the forum who's crying about everybody new, moving closer there. I would too. What's your team? Why? What's your team, Jim? I like the San Francisco Giants in baseball. Boom. That, one of the best baseball stadiums you could ever go to. The new one or the old one? Jim, we should do some kind of shows this uh year up there somehow and go watch a game i bet that's that giant stadium is amazing i've been there a bunch of times i would love to so there's this very famous canadian comic named jerry d and he was really nice to me uh when we did the san francisco comedy competition i was so broke i couldn't afford a hotel so he let me crash on his floor and one day he's like dude i want to go watch 
I want to go watch uh, a Giants game, see Barry Bonds. So I'm like, let's do it. So he bought me a ticket. This is name dropping, isn't it? I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's my show. I, I got drop. you. Okay. I, got you. Yeah, I don't uh, want to give so a wrong we go, penalty. So we go, we go to the game, and he goes, I'm going to buy it. You want a hot dog? I'm like, yeah, I'll take one. I go, he's like, okay, I'm going to go. So he, for some reason, he walks to a hot dog. As soon as he does that, Barry Bonds walks up and hits a fucking home oh, run. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you've never talked to the guy since, huh? No, he came back. He goes, do you hit home run? I go, yeah. He goes, well, I'm just going to tell everybody I saw it. <laughs> All right, that was my story. I yeah, appreciate it. Well, one. that brings up an interesting point because I was listening to Bill Simmons' podcast and we were talking about the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame and yeah. how ridiculous uh, these guys. That is horrible. Why isn't Barry Bonds, why aren't these guys in the Hall of Fame when you got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Michael Jackson, a child molester still in there? What's your take on that, Jim? Well, you know, those old crusty sports writers that yeah. are 75 years old or whatever like that, they're just old school guys that don't think anybody in the 70s did any kind of steroids or did any kind of advantage. And they all did. They all took speed sure. before sure. the games to get them up. And they were doing steroids in the 70s, too. They just didn't get caught. And they fucking Kate corked was doing coke before the games with Dave Parker. So um, for some reason, they hold it against Bonds and Clemens and the guys that did Roy. Meanwhile, Ricky Henderson's in the, uh, you know, in the, Hall of Fame, and you know he did, and I'm sure Frank Thomas and all those other guys that did, did too. Frank Thomas had built like a friggin' truck. You know who didn't? You know, I guarantee. Opposite field home run. You did steroids when you do that. I, I Ken Griffey Jr. He's the only guy I think didn't oh. do it because his fuck. He would just hurt the whole time. Like the guys who did roids. No, yeah, because that's no, because that's a side effect from doing steroids. It's okay, all right, muscles, all right. And eventually you break down. So he definitely did them. Okay, point, point. Hundred percent, he did them, guaranteed. Yeah, well, because you don't have the guys that always get caught with the 80 game suspension are like little little middle relievers or little second basemen and stuff like that. You don't have to get really big. It depends which ones you take. So Griffey didn't have to blow up like Sammy Sosa or McGuire. You know, he could have just taken a, a mild version of them. I mean, people in professional sports are always trying to gain a little bit of competitive advantage. I mean, it's. It's whether they're cheating by looking at other teams' playbooks sure. or filming the other team practicing. It's just advantage. To, you it's have just, access to yeah. everything. Of course. The best doctors, the best drugs, the of best course. everything. I mean, what's the difference between like a steroid or like just an incredible painkiller that you can shoot up into your fucking leg and go back and play? And the, right. That's an advantage. Sure, absolutely. Absolutely. It's just kind of like, just let them do it all and fucking let's watch some amazing fucking home runs. So, Jim, okay, what about Pete Rose? Do you think he's allowed in? Should be in. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, um, I, I did for a long time, but then, you know, when it came out that he actually bet on the Reds, too, but he had said he, he always said he bet to win on the Reds, which is kind of like, okay, so you're keeping a starting pitcher in longer. Even and then maybe in a few days he won't be able to pitch the next time around or for a couple of days because he did that and he maybe he rested this guy but not that it's kind of I say he should be in but he did some shady shit by doing that be but being the manager and betting on your own team I mean he also fucked minors though that was a big thing he enjoyed doing was banging like fifteen year old chicks did he yeah well maybe they look seventeen well okay <laughs> okay okay. <laughs> Case you know dismissed. Like case dismissed. Or maybe he was in. Right. Maybe I, I he was in the Czech you. Republic. Maybe he was in the Czech Republic. Oh, that's true. I think 15 is the legal age over okay, there. Or okay, like okay, that. you're good. You got but me. everybody, everybody did that back in the 70s. Everybody had 14 year old girlfriends. All the rock stars and all that stuff. That's what they did. That was the time back then. I respect so, that. I know, respect that. 14 or 15. What? What people? They said that she was either 14 or 15 in 1973. Jesus Christ. That's, that's a little young. I, I, I like how they, they're not quite sure. It could go either way. Well, look, it, 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 you know, Jimmy Page dated a 14-year-old. All those Zeppelin guys, the Rolling Stones, all those rock stars in the 70s. David Bowie, it just came out. These two girls said they yeah. had a threesome with him. They were 15 years old. So that's what they did back then. So just... You know, you can't just erase all of the history and just say they're all bad. Man, you have a None threesome with 15-year-olds. They, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. A 14 year old out on tour. Yeah, I mean, it's just like so fucking weird. And we get really mad at Michael Jackson because what they're I'm really not mad at him. Okay, here it goes. 
<laughs> Dude, Michael Jackson was fucking kidding. <laughs> oh, Fuck, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. That's got to be a penalty. At least two minutes. Dude, Michael Jackson was fucking kids like Leonardo DiCaprio fucks women. Like, he was he was totally grooming them, bringing them back to the yacht. He'd dump them when he was done with them. Listen, this is what I know about Michael Jackson. He loved non-union kids. He loved to give them <laughs> fucking <laughs> sag vouchers. That's what he was in, too. He never fucked the stars, only the extras and the fucking... Best grips. And I haven't f- even watched the documentary yet. Well, I'm just you like, should. I'm good. Well, you, well, you got to. St- here's, I think. It's kind of funny. Like, pro- who didn't know this shit was going? Like, it's, 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 it's like rehashed. It's like, dude, we knew this shit back in the fucking day. Like, I mean, you can prevent it by having A, ugly kids, or ugly up your kid when you send it out. I Definitely. Like Rub dirt all over them. Like maybe. Hey, Jim, did you ever have Michael Jackson on that metal show? No. Um, no, we didn't. But um, look, I, I feel I have a feeling I feel he liked a young Chad at, at like nine years old because Chad had the blue eyes. He would have ch- all over Chad. Is that he why? Definitely you- blown Chad. Oh, yeah, Chad. <laughs> definitely. Your, your mom uh, would be like, anybody, a father figure in this kid's life, feel free to lick his asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was perfect. Oh, I, yeah, without a doubt. Well, I didn't Chad, have a dad. Would, would you have fallen for it? Go hang with Michael Jackson. Chad, would you have fallen for it? Could he have groomed you? Well, that was the thing. Like, he was so powerful because I don't think there will ever be anybody as famous as Michael Jackson. Right. How many phones do you have? Again. You had, now you have more than one Rich, phone? Rich, famous. Oh, it's over. Yes, and I didn't have guidance, so there's a good chance I would have fucked Michael. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm not into it, but there's a good chance a young eight-year-old, impressionable, confused, you getting was- cotton candy, going on Ferris wheels, private jets. Come on, yeah. It sounds Dude, like I would have absolutely been yeah, what all if, in. What if he wanted you to blow him back? How <laughs> many people here honestly think Chad think would suck Michael Jackson? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Is anyone here who doesn't? Oh, 100%. My dog just raised its paw. My dog just... Polly Anthony Sam. just sucked Michael Jackson. Sam, Jim, sorry. Sam, did you... Chad, Chad, two months ago, Chad jerked me off so he could stay in the house for a week. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> no, when Chad jerks you off, does he make you make eye contact so he doesn't feel weird? No, I just I go, just look straight ahead. <laughs> just look straight ahead. Do you make him stay in front of you or behind I you? Look, I don't want to look at Chad's face or his brown hat on his head. <laughs> He's doing it. <sighs> All right, Florentine, dude. I'm so excited to be gigging with you. We'll see you on Thursday. Wait, wait, night. Jim, you got a special coming out, yeah, right? Yeah, tell us about it real quick. Oh, yeah, Mar- March 29th. Uh, I got the house. We'll be out up on iTunes, video, or audio, wherever you get us. Comedy special. What's it about? <laughs> tell us what's it about. <laughs> dumb fuck. You're such a piece of shit. All right, do you hang up on us? No, I'm here. Okay. Uh, uh, what's it called? It's called uh, Everyone is... Uh, no, what's it called? I got, no, the, house. I got the house. I got the house. And uh, what, you did it at... Where'd you, where'd you shoot this? It was a small crowd, which I love this. I love when people shoot it in a small crowd. I think that's the best way to do a special. Yeah, Anthony Cumio's studio in New York City. I was filming there for 35 people. Wow, 35. That's, that's the way you do yeah, it. Yeah, that's great. Dude. Why go? B- fuck this big 35. shit. Thirty-five. That's uh. Hey, Jim also got a book called "Everyone's Awful Except for You." You can get on Amazon or wherever Ooh. you get books. And well, because you know it's a book about my divorce, so it's more like a personal piece. It's not like a one-man show, but I just like I don't need a big audience for this. Ooh. And uh, he had the studio and all the cameras and everything. I'm like, why not just shoot it here? I brought my own chairs to the special to put them down. Chad was with me. Chad opened the special for me, so I brought my own chairs from my house and put them down for fucking people to sit. I love Beautiful. that. I love that you had lawn furniture at your special. I think that's awesome. No, it was because yeah, o- there's no crowd shot, so I didn't care if it looked shitty. My my lawn chairs. It almost seemed like VH1 behind, or the, you know those uh, MTV unplugs with the band like Nirvana. I got yeah. a fast car. <laughs> All right, Jim, you're the best, dude. I look forward to seeing you, buddy. This oh, it's always fun to gig All with right. you. We'll do it again soon. See I'll you this you weekend, great. buddy. All right, see you Thursday, buddy. Bye. That was a great episode. That was great. Jim Let's, Florentine. Can we talk some basketball or are you guys already over NBA? I, oh, I know. I'm psyched on the NBA. Oh, are you kidding so me? It's so good this year, dude. As a Sixers it's fan? It's so good this year. Are you kidding me? It's, it's going to be so I'm good. I'm stoked. I, dude, I don't think, I, don't, I honestly, dude, I think people are sleeping on Denver. I think they're going to be way better. I think they got, I think they got all the tools to fucking bang with Golden State. 
I don't. I don't know about uh, that. Hey, dude. dude, I know about that. No, because you know how Golden I State is. I know about that. Now, He's you know, about it. He's about it. As soon it. as the playoffs start, they just turn into a different team. I, I don't think so, dude. Nah, not this year. No, I don't That's think. That's what they say every year. No, right? they don't say it every year. Oh, come Here's on, the thing, dude. dude. That, that, that the NBA is caught up to the Warriors. Now they're the best version of that. Except for Denver. I think Denver has so many weapons. I think Denver's yeah. a way bigger threat than fucking Houston. Way bigger threat than Houston. I don't know, man. I, I just... I don't know. I don't sit... In the West, it just feels like it's just Golden States to lose. They just... They're just gonna... Dude, they just this, wake dude. up. They just kind of like wipe their shirts off and just go to, go to work and just break everyone. The Clippers have, I think, 11 games to go. And they need nine wins to get the 50. How crazy would that be? Jerry fucking West. Considering the Bucks have 52 wins right now, and they have the most wins in the NBA. Yeah, it's not crazy, dude. It's very the up. A seed in the fucking West is 11 games behind the fucking number one seed in the NBA. <laughs> okay, right. what's up? Let's go to the phones. Hey, guys. Uh, you talk baseball yet? A little bit, yeah. Uh, talk about this Mike Trout freaking 12-year contract. No, thing. dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, Breaking what? news. Breaking, Breaking news. news. What? 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 What happened with Mike Trout? What's going on? What is going on so with Mike Trout? Mike Trout got a new uh, deal, an extension, a 12-year extension. How, how much? Gatorade? How much? How much? Gatorade deal? How much? Four, $430 million. With the Phillies? With the Phillies? Yeah. Phillies? Who? No, with the Angels. What the oh fuck? Oh my God! Holy it's the shit. Angels breaking Holy news. Shit. Angels Man. break Angels. the bank. Get the fucking. Oh my God! Get the fucking trial. Why the Holy fucking shit. Angels? Holy the Angels. Why the yes. Angels? Dude, oh my God! They're gonna go to the playoffs. Oh my God! Is this Thank bullshit? you, dude. What's your name, dude? Jay. Jay just broke news. Holy I shit! Jay. Thank you, Jay. Jay, Thank can we you. can we put this clip online? Tunnels, televisions, breaking news. Breaking news. Jay from. Jay, where Holy are you from? Holy shit. Is, Jay, this, is from? this a prank call? Where are you from, Jay? From Dude. Anaheim. He's, Jay from Anaheim. Oh. Breaking news. He's like the Brian Mike Winhurst Trout. of fucking sports. Mike Trout. He, they call him the Connie Chung of sports breaking news, everybody. Jay from Orange County just broke news that Mike Trout signed a fucking 12 year, 443. <laughs> Million dollar deal. Thank Holy you, Jay. We appreciate shit. you. Man. God damn it. That wasn't dude. a penalty, by the way. That, that was dude. Uh, yeah, you know, Yahoo Sports was... is reporting he just broke this news. Well, okay, he broke the news that Yahoo's broken. Thank you, Jay. We appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Fuck. Hope to see you fucking April 13th live at the dojo inside Sacramento. Cause you broke Jay, listen to this. Cause you broke the fucking uh. news. You're getting is he gone? You're getting two free tickets to the UFC fucking match. Punch drunk sports. Holy you shit. and a fucking Asian chick. You got to bring an Asian chick uh -oh. to get the fucking tickets. But if you bring an Asian chick, you are getting two free tickets to the live show. UFC. Dude, give it up for Jay, everybody. She 430. Can be an Asian man dressed as a woman, right? Million. He can be an Asian buddy dressed okay. like a woman. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's are fair. you cool with that, Jay? I'm 100% cool with it. All right, Holy buddy. Shit. I mean, really. Uh, 215 million goes to taxes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. All right, man. All right. Man, that's why you it. listen to the show. You don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Yeah. You don't know where the news is coming. Crazy. It's crazy. Your Guys. fans are really knowledgeable about dude, they are it. they are fucking on the beat, dude. About what's going on. Yeah, it's I would love on. it if the Lakers went back to the forum. <laughs> oh, they're thinking about that, right? Because they want to do they're trying to fuck with the Clippers. What, what do so you mean? How nah. would they fuck with the how Clippers? The they... Clippers are going to open an arena in fucking Inglewood. Inglewood so, up to no So the Lakers good. would go so to the forum. They're both just ditching the, for, the no, no, Staples Center? No, they're going to do a couple games at the Staples Center, at the forum. By the way, I went to the Staples Center on Sunday. It sucks. That, that, I hate the Staples that Center. Arena stinks. If you hate so much, why don't you marry I hate it? it. Makes zero why? sense. What's wrong with it? Makes zero sense. What's wrong why? with it? It's just a shitty fucking arena. I've been to a lot no, of arenas. Okay. Hey, let's talk, let's talk about what you're comparing it to. Your Cleveland arena, right? Where nobody has anything going on in their life. The, so this is the biggest moment of the thing. So they act really excited. When we're stuck in traffic, making Hollywood dreams come true, banging tens, and fucking doing the best blow in the world. 
So we don't compare to oh, the you're Cleveland talk, Arena? You're talking about the atmosphere yeah. or the I, actual? I'm talking about the atmosphere. I'm talk, oh, talking the about the, the, the yeah. look. The atmosphere, the arena, the it look of it, the feel I've been of to it. Philly. The I, acoustics at a concert. I miss Jay breaking news. I already miss Jay breaking news. I miss it. Call in, Jay, with some more news. The you, atmosphere you, at the You're saying the Staples Center is a dope stadium. No. It's I'm weak. I'm not saying that. I mean, I'm not saying that. What you, what's your argument? I'm just saying that he's comparing it to no. anything in Madison. No, Madison Square Garden, gosh. Philly. I've been to a bunch of uh, stadiums before. It, that one stinks. United yeah, Center. I totally agree. United Center's way better. Yes. Madison I, Square Garden. Of yep. course. The Garden. Yeah, I wish Ruminati would call him some new rumors, dude. He never calls in anymore with some new calls. When did the basketball playoffs start? Uh, two, two weeks. Three weeks. Maybe two three weeks. weeks. Go around the horn. Who's going to win the NBA finals? Okay, dude. Golden, Golden State. State easily. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to go around the horn. Let's just everybody say it at Who's the same gonna time. Who's going to make it in the East to the finals? That's what I want The Raptors. I, I think that's a good, a good I like I like the Sixers, dude. I like the Sixers right now. I like the Sixers, dude. I think they could make the finals this I year. I just think Jimmy Butler is just – he's – he just fucking causes problems everywhere he goes. He just hates everybody. I don't know. I don't feel it. I don't feel it right now as a Sixers fan. I don't think he's – I mean, maybe – Joel Embiid is slowly becoming one of my favorite players in the Man, NBA. he's a beast. No way. He hits him. People are saying he's starting to turn the corner. Jimmy who, Butler. Who, who's that, Jay, breaking news? That's from Jay in Anaheim. I don't mind Jimmy Butler right now. I mean, even if he's like when he was when they when they came out that he was talking shit about the coaching and the rotations, it was true. Okay, it was true. Yeah, but he has to watch himself because this yeah, is like he does. now I the agree. third team he might get I agree. fucking ran out on. Uh, I agree that he should out. probably keep it internal or whatever. Yeah, but Brett Brown is not a great coach, and I could see the frustration in in a good basketball player watching Brett Brown. You know, fucking lose 20-point leads and constantly just, like, fucking scrubbing up the third quarter with, like, a great a great team, you know? Yeah. A team has a lot of talent. Got so much talent. Why the don't you Sixers marry ha- The Sixers have a lot of talent. Over five, over five, over five. When? Look, this past month, it's a terrible two for eight. Oh for five, oh for five. Two for three, two for four, terrible. four for six. Yeah, I mean, like, you don't ultimately want that to be the no, shy always know. goes through. I know, I know. But then again, do you see that that was Brett Brown's offense? Was to put him on the corner three? It's and ridiculous. Three? It's, it's, He's it's, so it's, dumb. It's ridiculous. Uh, don't even get me started on Brett Brown. He's one of the worst fucking coaches I've ever watched. Like, ever? I, I, I don't get it. You got this. Joy B, B, he's like a fucking Tim Duncan type, you know? He cannot be stopped in the paint. Period. Yeah. Period. He's got a Why soft... would you put that guy anywhere near the three point line? He's got a soft touch too. Anywhere the guy can shoot, he can fucking he can post dudes up. He can he can dribble. He can beat you off the dribble. He can, he's got moves. Just get him the fucking ball down low. Period. That's the end of the story. You don't run this fucking stupid pick and roll bullshit. By the I mean? way, uh, Colin Sexton is the speaking of Tim Duncan is the first top twenty uh, player. To get 23 points or more in six straight cons- contest games. I just okay, read that very wrong. Well. Yes, that was very hard to break. <laughs> you're, you're illiteracy come yeah. from someone who's illiterate. It was horrible. <laughs> like mini heart attacks each word. Look at that guy dribbling right there, dude. Fuck. Dude, that was a great game, dude. Yeah, that, that was, was a, a great, great game. game. Yeah, I mean, we we're going to get that in the playoffs, hopefully, you know? When are the uh, play in games? Is that today? Oh, they are? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, fuck. I got to do my kit. My... No, they don't count them. Oh, okay. You guys pick champions. I'll pick a champion for your own I say Duke. I mean, I, I, I say Duke. And I hope they go far because I really do want to watch him play. I got Gonzaga. I like that, too. I think I'm they're a one about... as well, aren't they? Yeah. Is I'm that about one? Tennessee. Tennessee. What are they? Tennessee. What are they? My dog got a key to fire. Find a phone. Find a car. Okay. I don't know what that was. Pretty good. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. I like it. Mumble rap? Oh, here he goes. Oh, he threw himself in there for that? First ever. Wow. What's the penalty? What's the the call? I'll do a five. What's the call? <laughs> Sam's in the penalty box. He's probably got to take a piss. Look, he's going right yeah. out that door. He's grabbed all nine of his phones and his laptop. He's going right That's out that door. That's the most convenient. He's, he's leaving. Okay. Wow. What a turn of events. You guys need to come up with some kind of hand signals, you know, like a mumble, jumble. For what? 
for the penalties. You know that they, they oh, got oh, hooking. Oh, you know, I, I see what you mean. If you're watching the, if you're watching hockey, they got hooking, slashing. Yeah. Hey, speaking like what's that like? Karate chopping, personal Is foul, personal foul. Yeah, yeah like you uh-huh. know. I just know hooking. You know? Speaking of punch drunk sports, is there any update on Skankfest? Is that happening? I, I, from what I understand, yes. I, Ari, said Ari said we were last week. Oh, he said that personally. Yeah, he said that that we were. All right. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll talk to him this week though. Because uh, there are people sending tweets and shit. I know a lot of people have already bought a lot of tickets. death threats. A lot of death threats coming in. Death threats, but yeah, but they haven't. They haven't said. Like what day we would be doing our podcast, but we did it last year. We should be doing it this year as well. All right. As far as I know, that's not breaking. Has Jay uh, talked about it? Yeah, well, Jay from Anaheim. If you can call in, Jay might know. Let if us we, know about. If anybody Punch knows, Trump it might be Skank Jay. Fest. It might be Jay. Yeah. What is the um, uh, uh, Johnny? What are the play-in games? Uh, we got. Is, is there four play-in games? Is that right? Wow, that's a big playing game, St. John's and Arizona State. Usually it's like these weird, crazy schools. Yeah, St. John's is a big team, right? NC Central and North Dakota State. Belmont and Temple. Belmont and Temple. So far I'm pulling for Belmont then. Farley Dickinson? Farley Dickinson? Yeah. That's who I'm rooting for then. That school is so small, they only have four starters. Yeah, I only I root for the small schools every time. That's why of course my brackets never do well. Me that's too. That's why I want Duke to win. You that's know? why it's, it's like oh, nobody really <laughs> ever. You know what I mean? Gives them enough credit. That's why it's always fun. The tournament's always fun because it's always those little schools that catch magic. Uh oh. Well, let's take it's this. Go to the Brody Stevens hotline. You're on with Punch Trunk. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's up, brother? Um, have you guys talked to UFC yet? We haven't talked to any UFC yet. What do you got? What's going on? Mike Trout? Well, I don't know. If it, <laughs> no, Mike Trout. I don't know about this deal you guys heard about, but UFC signed an extension for two years with ESPN, and I, that ESPN Plus is going to hold all of their pay per views from now on. Oh, no cable, none of that. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, it is. So, so they won't even have. If you have the internet. You can only order it through the internet now. That's it. Wow. These networks are going down. So that they're, you're saying they're not going to have any more pay-per-views, huh? Yeah. Oh, here it is right here. Wow. UFC makes ESPN. Makes sense, though, right? It makes sense. home for all pay-per-view events. Right? How are they going to... They're going to... They're going to... That's what they're going to have to do. No, they're going to be able to buy it on their, like, on their... Smart uh, TV or whatever, you know. Their smart so everyone's TVs. gonna be in a bar looking at their smartphone, like, "Oh, let's go!" No, ESPN Plus will be an app, and like, you know, when you have a smart TV, you get your apps. It's just like connected. It's gonna be the way of the future. Interesting. Hi guys, it's just the way it is. Make sure y'all connected. It just makes sense because that's the that's what is happening. You know, if you, even if you go to like, most people watch HBO on HBO Go or a streaming version of. So ESPN is just going to a streaming service. ESPN Plus is just going to be a different uh, way to get the same. So it says, it says it'll be sixty bucks for the pay per views. Each pay per view. Yep. Sixty. Wow. Bu- what was Fuck it normally? Exactly. What was Jesus. it normally? What's a normal pay per view cost? About that. Sixty five dollars. I guess about but, um, that, but they're not as co- they're not as often, and, if, and they're not always they're not always pay per view, right? And they're trying to get it to be pay per view every time. Every time, yeah. So every paper, main pay per view, every numbered pay per view event, like the next, I think it starts next month. Um, it's going to be on ESPN Plus. So you have to sign up for ESPN Plus, pay the extra five bucks, and then you get a little discount off the pay per view of five dollars. Wow, so you are you have to serious? Sign up for that. So you have to sign wow. up and be a member of ESPN Plus and then pay the the pay per view price. I fucking told you. Right. Wow. Well, you know what? I'm happy to say that I don't give a fuck about the UFC. Say that again. All UFC pay-per-views will be available for purchase exclusively through ESPN. I like how I like UFC fuck, um, on April 3rd. Oh, the show's going to blow up. 
I like how Dana White says it like we're supposed to be excited about yeah. it. He's like, dude, I got great news for you. You're financially We're going to fuck you. I know. And you're going <laughs> to fucking lose a bunch of money and get to... If you want to watch people get knocked out, you're in luck. You're going to get fucked. Here's where to go. That's more money out of your pocket. You're guys, welcome. Guys, I got a great announcement. This huge UFC butt plug is going right up your ass. <laughs> So why didn't they? I wanna, I'm surprised it. they didn't do their own network like the WWE, where they could just you know you sign up nine. Well, they did. They did they have. Did, they, they did have the. Yeah, it's it's a, fight it's a pass. better dude. It's a better deal for them with ESPN. That's a big fucking reach. You know. See, what I, I mean? knew this was gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, of course, man. of course. And I it didn't take long. How long was that? One month? A year? Yeah. A year? No, they just moved I mean, ESPN like a month, like two months ago. Three That's months ago. actually breaking news. That guy called in. That there was like breaking news. Shit, breaking news. That is breaking news. Fuck, what's his name from Anaheim? This guy works for UFC. <coughs> it's it's exactly what we said was going to happen. Yeah, it makes sense, but it's it's just a bad deal for fans, right? Yeah, be, and, it, and it locks so. you into fucking ESPN stupid bullshit. It's just a way that now your credit card's got to get hit from ESPN every fucking month if I want to watch UFC at all. At all, Fuck yeah. Fuck that. And it's like for the casual fan, I do watch it once in a while. What am I supposed to do? I guess go to a friend's house, but it's like I'm not going to pay a monthly yeah. fucking subscription to watch UFC twice a year. It was so much better on Fox. The app's not even that good. I mean, you're still getting advertised. You get commercials. Like with the last UFC fight that was happening on Saturday, with a fight night, there are still commercials in between the fights. Wow. Like, so you're still getting advertising even though you're paying for it. Like, what the fuck? They get, they get advertising, oh, they get ticket sales, they get endorsements, and then on top of that, they're trying to fuck the fans. You're making me pay to watch advertising now? Of course. ESPN and endorsements. Can suck my and they got the Monster Disney, Energy ch chick. They just like, dude, it's money at every my dick. It's ESPN money at every angle suck for them. My dick. I'm going to get the Spike TV app even though it's not around anymore. Fuck, man. That's, that sucks. That's terrible news. Well, congratulations, yeah. ESPN. You're making a lot more money. Fucking faggots. Hey, I don't know how long it's going to last, though. I mean, it Can really... I say that, Tebow? I think it... Absolutely. I think it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> they stay in the contract for two more years on ESPN. I think it hurts. I so. think it hurts the brand. I think it's 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 not... It's it's preventing new fans it's from being It's definitely preventing new it. fans. I yep. mean, it, it definitely turns me off as, like, a casual fan. Sure. I'm not going to watch... I mean, I'll go to a friend's sure. house, obviously. Well, I have always been like that with UFC. I don't think I paid one penny I've for I've never any, paid. I've so never I'm not really that upset. I'm not upset about about it, but I feel bad for Watch the fans ESPN because. next year. Watch ESPN next year. You have to get ESPN Plus to play fantasy football. Something like that. Oh, well, if they you know could, I mean? yeah. If they could, they would. Oh, of course. That's what it's all about. I mean, UFC is just extremely excited to fucking really lock down a monopoly with the biggest sports provider and really just pigeonhole fans into having to buy this monthly subscription. It's just I wish ridiculous. I could give ESPN everything that I have. Yeah. Just <laughs> just load everything I have and take a right to fucking I agree. ESPN and go, have it all. <laughs> take everything I have, ESPN. Just show me a good dunk once in a while. <laughs> just please stop showing <laughs> handicapped children missing three-pointers. <laughs> and they're also, I bet they start jamming more of a political agenda into it. Now. If I see uh -oh. one more three-year-old uh -oh. with comes. cancer running for a kickoff return for a touchdown while real adults act like they can't tackle this kid, He's right there. Hit him. There's no way this kid's got moves like that. <laughs> yeah, bro, what's your favorite team? My favorite team? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. And that's how you do a phone call. Got him. <laughs> well, yeah, that's really bad news. That pisses me off. You know, it's just uh, more fucking capitalistic fucking garbage. When's this go course. down? Looks like uh, it just went down. Apparently, if, apparently for this <laughs> next one. Looks so like it's a sycamore. You're gonna have to do the ESPN Plus. They're gonna have to figure that out. Wow. Every goddamn bar is gonna have to fucking figure that out. Well, yeah, they yeah. will. It's, I mean, it's such a big thing. Like that's what people do. They go to sports bars and watch the fights. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, if I don't get it at home, I I do it that way, dude. Yeah. I, man, I can't believe fucking Trevor Cruz died. Well, I'm glad he's dead. Yeah. It's unbel Did you hear about that, Sam? Something just happened, and I got to figure out what you guys did. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, the most trusting person of all time. <laughs> so what is it? You said you had something in, you were to unveil, and you never unveiled it. Oh, I'm donating this to the uh, ATC. Ah. That says, I do yoga, 818. You mm -hmm. got it. 
Yes. Push and believe. Mm. We have fun. I'm a good guy. Blue collar Jewish. Enjoy it. Yes. I'm and a that, good guy. Where did you get that poster? Uh, uh, people made it. Uh, you got it at Bet DSI for all of your poster caveman needs. Caveman Coffee. Did you guys do that one? Caveman Coffee. I'll do a Caveman Coffee ad because last night I drank a Caveman Coffee when I was producing Kill Tony. Get that phone call out of here. Um, you're on the air with Punch Drunk. Hey. Uh, What's up? Hey, that, that, that uh, uh, poster was made by my good friend Scott Sandry, everybody. Out. Right. 602. Thank you, Scott, for making that poster. What, what do you have to say? What's up, buddy? Yeah. You interrupted my right, caveman so coffee the, ad. Cavemancoffee.com. Yeah, uh, Go to Caveman Coffee. He's talking over him. On, yeah, Can you hear him? Yeah, yeah. This year. Yeah. And, uh, What's that? Got fucking raped. And uh, I was the kid that ate the uh, hot pepper this year. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, I, was, yeah I, was, uh, I was wondering how I joined this uh, bracket. Uh, if you go to uh, the bracket challenge, yeah, just go to Punch Drunk's Twitter. And we've been retweeting it. Anthony Johnson set it up. Uh, so get in there and get all your brackets going and fill it yeah. out. We would have discussed. We'll figure right. out what somebody's gonna win. Whoever does it. Usually okay, I do cool. pretty well. And then like, like the UFC for that. Like I feel like B Dubs is gonna kind of have a problem with it because they all have like they don't have those smart TVs. Oh, uh, good because yeah, I, I, a lot of bars are gonna have problems with this fucking ESPN. I deal. fucking hate Buffalo Wild Wings. Their food it's shit. Recorded. It sucks. Dude, they're sponsor. Uh, fuck them. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah, I no, hate I, them. I fucking hate them. But like, my dad got. That's out gotta of be a penalty. Wait, wait that's <laughs> gotta be a penalty. Hold on. I Sorry, say, I say, I'll, I'll always that's say that. Gotta be a penalty. I'll live in the penalty box. I'll buy you lunch there after this. Fuck that. <laughs> Their food sucks. Their wings are rubbery. The cheeseburger. Everything sucks. Chicks the fries. Are hot. They like the fuck. Hooters is overrated too. There you oh. go. They're not. Oh wait, sponsor. come on. Fuck Hooters. Hooters sucks. I love seventeen-year-old girls that are half naked. What's well, that have to do with Hooters? They're ten years too old. If you ask my opinion. <laughs> Hooters is thirty-five-year-old women. I hope this gets back to Buffalo Wild Wings. Tweet at them. Put my name in the tweet. Say I think they fucking sucks. Their food sucks. It's overpriced. You ever had a salad at Buffalo? It's the worst salad ever. Dude. That Why whole would you go to Buffalo Wild Wings for a salad? Say. That's a penalty. That's Look at a this. fucking Fuckin penalties. Yep. In the box, bitch. As a wing, as a wing Get stock, in the box. You had a salad at Buffalo board, Wild Wings? That. How could you admit that? Because I ate everything else. Jesus so I was like, I'll Christ. try the salad. This is the only thing left. You, Holy shit. You hate it, but you've been there a zillion times oh and had everything God. on the menu. Because they have me under, they, they got the fucking TVs. The TVs uh, are great. That's what uh, they get You to. ever have a salad at McDonald's? It's horrible. Well, I, I, I ate everything else and I hate it. I was like, well, the last thing left on the menu is this fucking salad. It oh stinks. Whole thing stinks. This episode has been brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Go there for all of your buffalo needs. Anyway, I drank a fucking caveman coffee last night around 8 p.m. I didn't go to bed until 6 a.m. So you, caveman, caveman coffee is pretty fucking good if you want to stay awake all I night. I like caveman coffee. Fuck buffalo wild That wings. shit is fucking so insane. Rude, you get a bandana for free if you buy uh, some? Uh, bly? Bly something. You bly something? If you bly something. I bought something once. Yeah, you should bly something. Definitely got to bly it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for listening. It's been a fantastic episode, just as I predicted. Dude, how bad did I crush? Be honest. Uh, Scale not very 10? well. Not very crush. well. How April 9th, I'm dropping in on a vert ramp. Okay, go support. Go to his fucking uh, his just, GoFundMe. Just keep at me on, on Instagram. I'm Follow gonna, I'm my Instagram, it. Chad Zumach. You Man got it. And Zumach. subscribe to my YouTube, everybody. It's Adventures in Argyle. Oh, good. You use Argyle? Like who's gonna fucking be able I, to? Can you change that? the don't? I can't change the don't name. Can, can you? you will. Can you help me with that, John? The don't name. The don't name. <sighs> Did he say don't name? Who is this guy? <laughs> Jesus. We gotta close the show anyway. There's no penalty. Oh, Shout out to Fang Chow. Oh yeah, get that that for free somewhere, right? <laughs> Yeah, if you're cool. Bye, guys. JasonTebow.com. Get the fuck out of here. Adam slash Geo Cities. Get the fuck out of here. Go Sixers. Go Cavs. Bye, guys. <laughs>